Welcome, everybody, to Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge <laughs> here on Rage Light. Uh, we're playing Enslaved Odyssey to the West. Of course, as always, I am that asshole who runs this shit, and with me uh, sometimes is... John. Okay. I was going to see who talked first. Usually, Kayla. And, yeah. some, and <laughs> Kayla. See, Kayla, I, don't know. I was going to say, um, like... I didn't really even realize that you're back because I just got into this thing where you're like, I'm going on vacation. And I'm like, well, I guess Kayla's gone forever. She's never <laughs> coming back. I'm just going to just assume that she's moved away. And then if she's like, I'm in town, I'm like, oh, shit, okay. When did that happen? So, yes, uh, this was suggested to us, I believe. Last what? week, yeah. Last week? I don't remember who said it, but someone in the, uh, the chat did say, why don't you guys play Enslaved? Yeah. Odyssey to the West for... For streaming Sunday. That's great because I have already have to make a decision about like 14 games a week. So this is great. Uh, plus, I remember really liking this game when it came out. I liked it too. It was one of those kind of not a lot of people bought it, but uh, uh, it was. Uh, it's kind of like uh, Beyond Good and Evil, right? Kind of an indie dar or kind of a, a critical yeah. success and okay yeah. as far as sales go. The yeah. giant cyborg eggs. Yeah, it came out, if I remember, the same week as, like, two other major release games. What were they? Uh, Vanquish and um, no, it Bayonetta? Wasn't. No. Are you sure? No, I'm pretty sure both of those came out way before. I want to say they both came out the same week as this game. I don't... Because I remember my roommate buying those two games and then me buying this game because I played the demo and I was like, holy shit, that's how you make a demo because I want this game now. Oh, man, he's so angry. Monkey. Monkey is so angry. Is that his name? Yes. His name is Monkey. I know that monkey. His name is Donkey. <laughs> what? Um, and that's, what's her name? Trip or Triss or, no, that's Witcher. Um, wow, some people are already trying to get me angry. <laughs> <laughs> They're saying, all I see in the chat is Superman sucks. And I'm like, I'm not going to fall for that. I already got my rage out over that. You people know you can only push that button once with me. And now, see, I've got, I've got two buffers in between me and chat rage this week. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, everything is exploding. My space egg. Are they all your friends? No. They're all they're all bad. Oh. Are you talking about the game or the chat? The eggs. Because the answer is the same. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, chat. Just, I'm just kidding, chat. You know I love you. Not really, but I do. Um, I no, they're all being transported to the pyramid. Yeah. To build them? No. That's where humanity is going because it's like the future and everything's all messed up. Except a monkey, he didn't want to go. He wants to do monkey stuff. Also, you know, for I'm sure everybody knows this, but if you don't, uh, monkey entirely like motion captured and acted by Andy Serkis. Yes, uh, as okay. I understand it. So uh, Andy Serkis also is a voice of a character in this game, and his likeness is used in the game later as well. Yep, he's actually he's the voice of monkey. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, we all right, get over he's here. Just everybody. Yep, he's. he's like, yeah. <laughs> The men, the women, the robots. This was, this was Andy Circus, the video game. All of the all the sound effects are just Andy Circus. And I I really like the way I'd forgotten until I loaded this up just to make sure that it worked. That uh, the way that they have that like tail oh, for yeah. him on, oh. as his little sash, so that he really does kind of look like a monkey. Yeah. Well, and for also though anyone who may not have guessed from the title of the game, this is loosely inspired by or a, a sci-fi reinterpretation of the actual story, uh, Odyssey to the West, or mm -hmm. yeah, or something or, like that. Yeah. It's which uh, Dragon Ball is based on. Yeah, Dragon Ball is also based on. So that as well. that's why they have the Dragon Ball Z here. Uh, sure. No. Maybe. <laughs> See. Yeah, he kind of does have the. He kind of does have the. Maybe the, the faux hawk thing going on. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. So is Andy Circus just typecast as a monkey now? <laughs> like he can only be monkeys. I think this was before Planet was of the Apes, yeah. right? Like this, this was, was right after uh, the third uh, Lord, Lord of the, of the Rings. Rings yeah, it was in between Lord of the Rings. And they're like. There's only one way to go, dude. It's a giant hallway ship. It only goes in one direction. From here to that way. The Chad says he plays everyone in the next Star Wars movie. Yeah, I would watch that. <laughs> I'd be more excited about him playing everybody than I am about... Oh, no! Oh, no. Bad Day L.A., man. That's what we should play next. What? Bad Day L.A. <laughs> Never played that. Oh, it was American McGee's game after uh, Alice, where you played as like this homeless 
African American dude in Los Angeles uh, while there's this giant apocalypse happening. Uh, let's see, is it that the one? Is it? Nope. Okay. Oh, wait. Handhold. Right. Jump onto it. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think Whoop. that's it. Go to the glowing thing, Jeff. You've only done this about a million times before. When I was Whee! on vacation, I saw the new Planet of the Apes, and that stuff is crazy. Uh, the CG in that, I w it was the first time I was like, I don't know what's real and what's not. Yeah. I, I haven't seen either one of the new ones. Uh, I haven't seen, yeah, that's what everybody says. They go, they, in fact, they kind of say it exactly that way. They're like, what? <laughs> Are you an insane person? I go, no, I just like the original. I like the Tim Burton one better. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just really? Kidding. No, no, I like the original Planet of the Apes better. Uh, okay, got some robots. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that's no good. Robots with your big old robot arms. That's right. So that would, he would fall over. The robot? Yeah. He's well, excited. maybe he's got, like, white weights in his feet or something. Mm. <laughs> did you guys um, see the new Guardians of the Galaxy? Yes. Yes. Yeah, and did you like it? Yes. Did yes. you talk about it on a podcast? I talk about it on the podcast. It's going up as soon as we're done here. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, I really did enjoy it. Um, I'm actually more interested to know, John, I'm pretty sure that you saw... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I did. I saw it last night. Yeah. What did you think of it? Oh, um, no, dude. Ow. Uh, truthfully, I... Bar, bar, bar. I it's not the worst trans or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Yeah. I'm going to say that. It's definitely not the worst of the fr of the entire series of movies. Is it the worst Transformers movie? Uh, Is that it, what you were going to say? It, I it was may have been the worst Transformers movies because there was, there was no Transformers at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, that's, pretty, I mean, that's pretty bad for but Transformers movies. No, as far as movie. TMNT goes, uh, it was, like I said, it was... It was good. I mean, it wasn't good. Like, it's a terrible movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me start by saying that. It is a very terrible movie. Yeah. But they got a lot of really good scenes uh, right, and there were a lot of good character moments between the Turtles themselves. Okay. Um, it was just poorly written. The story was paper thin, and uh, Megan Fox was severely miscast, and not to mention her part was also written poorly paper thin. Okay. <laughs> Sounds pretty bad yeah. all the way around. It, it's bad, but as I said, not the worst of the TMNT movies. On a scale of one to... Um, well, there's five movies in total. It's probably ranked four from if you rank number one being the best, five being the worst. It's probably the fourth. Which one was five? Is that uh, like the This is the fifth one. This oh. is the fifth movie. Oh, okay. Because there was TMNT. There's Ninja Turtles. Right. The first one. There's the second Secret one. Secret of the Ooze. Which is Secret of the Ooze. There's three, which is Turtles in Time. Yeah. Uh, and then there was the which fourth Which is the movie. worst, right? Yes. <laughs> that was the first. That was the worst one. There's and then there's uh, TMNT, which was the animated theatrical movie. Oh. Uh, which never... does take place as part of that continuity of those first three movies. Okay. Um, I've only ever. I. You see, I'm just like a huge. I wish somebody would just animate the actual Eastman and Laird like dark turtles comics that's what yeah. i really want to see is the like really super you'll never get that yeah i know i know and also it's not as dark as you think it was oh no you i remember. still i still have them i do Pretty too dark. they're not they're not as dark as you remember uh, <laughs> Because okay. that first movie, Bam. that first TMNT movie, is pretty much on the line with those original comics. Uh, Minus a few things. It has been a while since I've seen that, since I've seen the original Turtles movie. I just, I liked Turtles, I got into it and stuff, but I was also a little bit older when it came out, so I was, um, like, I have fonder childhood memories of shit like uh, Thundercats that I, I know is terrible at this point. <laughs> Like, I don't have any, I, you know, I've gone back and watched that stuff. I think the only one of my childhood cartoons that actually holds up may be G.I. Joe. Uh, G.I. Joe had some weird stuff in it. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, I was just reminded, I was listening to the Giant Bombcast. They were talking about that episode where Shipwreck gets put in that, like, weird fake town. Yeah. And everybody starts melting at the end. It was one of those times when you were a kid, you were like, trying to, I don't know. Yeah, because Cobra know. was trying to drive him insane and turn him. Yeah, and you're just like, what is I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, there was some fucked up stuff in the in that original G.I. Joe cartoon. Yeah, it was. Burr, barrel, bam. All that drug use. All the drugs. <laughs> that was a, the Weather Dominator storyline was pretty much just a uh, thinly veiled metaphor for uh, drug use. That was yeah. what it was. Because they used to 
Um, here in Austin, we have a place called Alamo Draft House, and they have a Saturday morning cartoon. They and they yeah. have like all you can eat cereal, mm. and they used to just show the most, the worst cart, like the the craziest episodes of all those shows. Oh, okay. So I saw the drug one. Uh-huh. Uh huh. They could never find the uh, My Little Pony Four Horses of the Apocalypse one. What? But that exists. Okay. I need to go back. Is is G.I. Joe on Netflix? I need to go back and watch that. I think again, it is, I think. actually. I but I also have the I entire series on. How do I turn up your mic? Yeah, because I'm on it. Like, deep. Yeah. That's a little turned up. I was going to say, I have the entire cartoon up. series on, on DVD. If do you? If you want to borrow it. Hmm, maybe. Yeah, so I got it as a birthday gift from a relative. Because I'm watching House right now, and that's kind of starting to dull me out. It's like, ah, uh, every episode's the exact same thing. <laughs> and it's never lupus. Why is it never lupus? <laughs> Actually, I think there is one episode where it ends up being lupus. Yeah, I'm, I'm not willing to wait. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a long time before they get to <laughs> For it. For, like, the season eight but cliffhanger when it actually is lupus. I also do appreciate the, the, the what is it, that he finally comes out and goes, it's never lupus. Do you know what the clinical term of lupus is? It means the doctors don't know what it is. There you go. He's like, the, the er- lupus doesn't exist kind of thing is what he kind of tries to say at one point. Well, I love it because Allison keeps telling me how the doctors kept trying to tell her that it's lupus. And she's like, it's never lupus. I'm like, you and Dr. House, Allison. You're yeah. like that. You're on the same page. Well, Kayla, it's been a while since you've been here. Are you to going to regale us with uh, with stories? Sure. What did you do? Did you eat any new animals that you've never eaten before? No. Did you um, kill any new animals that you've never killed before? My, I think my cousin ran over some rabbit ears. Okay. I- all right. <laughs> like, uh, like a little bunny ran across the road and just his little ears. Because he still ran after we heard him oh. under the car. Uh-huh. We saw him scamper off. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought you meant you like ran over an old TV antenna. Yeah, I was about <laughs> to ask. Are you talking about legit rabbit ears or, or like actual TV antenna? Uh, Animals. Okay. Whoa, hey. Because, you know, like pigs and everybody likes to run on the road. Yeah. This game has one of the more creepy pigmen ever. Yeah. Pigsy. Yeah. Pigsy. I guess he starts out as creepy and then he gets less significantly yeah. less creepy. So, um Wee I got in so much trouble when I was gone. Did no, you? No. Oh, okay. I'm a good girl. Oh no, it's the Super Statue good. of Liberty. You blew it up! Say it real quick real fast, monkey. You monkey. damn dirty apes. Wait a minute, that's my name. Is that uh, what this is all about? Uh well it's the it's Part of the game, one of the interesting things about the game is there's a little bit of a mystery about what exactly happened here and how the world got to the state that it's in. Um, can I open this door? Yes, you can. All right, there we go. Uh, the payoff is okay, if I remember correctly. It's, it's oh. It sets itself up for a sequel that we never got. Right, right, because it didn't sell enough. Um, yeah. Whoa. Uh-oh. Oh, that's no good. I went to Albuquerque, did all the oh. Breaking Bad stuff. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Did you go to cook some meth? Pollos yes. Hermanos. Nice. I didn't remember to bring them here this time. Well, yes, but there it's Uh-oh. really called Twisters. Okay. Is Th- what Pollos Hermanos is. <coughs> that, oh, that's the actual name of the restaurant? Yes. That was Pollos Hermanos. Oh, God! Oh. It's I went to the candy lady, lady, got some meth. Okay. Went and saw the grave. Mm-hmm. Went and sold the house, mm-hmm. all that good stuff. Okay. It's some uh, stuffed sopapilla. Like uh, in Albuquerque, they put stuff in sopapilla. Okay. Okay. Like meat and okay. things, not just honey. All right. I'd never seen that before. I've um, never seen that either, but uh, it sounds uh, interesting. Oh sounds yeah. tempting. Heard of that. And we were like, oh. Did I see the Guardians and credits? I haven't seen Guardians. It was sold out. Oh, we man. Tried oh, shit. Okay. Uh, up all, here. All weekend. Yeah. Every showing that we could go to, Guardians was sold out. Oh, so did you see? Like, try to nope. go at one specific theater? Oh, well, yeah. Alamo South Lamar. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, that's the not South Lamar, uh, Slaughter. Uh, so. I, I went to on Monday night at like 1045 at the at uh, Arboretum. <laughs> I went to go see it. And there was like a good dozen other people in the theater with me, but I, I loved it. 
Uh, <laughs> I was actually, it's funny because I was thinking this week um, about. I want to ask you guys this question. Like, I've seen there was an editorial overall, one of us, or a little feature that they wrote. And then uh, one of our friends on Facebook posted an Onion article about like that. It's that it's an old Onion article about sad loser goes to movie by himself, and it's <laughs> it's all written about how like this terrible waste of a human being who does obviously has Aww. no friends. And I love going to the movies by myself. I hate going with other people. Like I I didn't even know that was there was a stigma attached to going to the movies by yourself um, until like this week because. I don't know. Why, why would be going to a box in the dark and all facing in the same direction, not talking to each other, be a social activity? I, d I don't get it. Weirds me out. I'm okay with going to the movies by myself, so I mean, I don't, I don't know what the stig reason for the stigma bah. is. But then again, I'm not a sad loser. I'm a happy go-getter. Yeah. So I get to the theater and I'm by myself. It's cool. Okay. So it's only a stigma if you're a sad loser, Jeff. Oh. Now, if well. you're also a cute girl. Yeah. So when I used to do all the free movie screenings, that's how I'd get in, is <laughs> being the only person. If you have, they can never get two seats. Uh huh. But at the end, there was like, is there anyone who's okay with sitting alone? Me. I'm by myself. Ah, there you go. And then get in, get in. Ooh, all right. That's good, uh, that's good planning. I know. I'm, I'm sharp. So if you want to be sneaky, be a solo rider. Did his pants change color? Well, no. probably. That was a big fall. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> my, my pants would change color. Just hyper color, <laughs> but for urine. Oh, man. It's the ammonia. <laughs> oh, yeah. I kind of forgot about this whole part. What? Oh, when the reason it's called enslaved? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's the headband. The slave headband. Yeah. The one I put on you. So she put this thing on his head that lets her shock the shit out of him to make him, like, you take her safely to where she wants to go. Get this thing off. Or you rip your head off. So kind, yeah. of, uh, kind of an odd couple thing. No. I kind of feel like I'm looking at Kratos and what's the girl from Heavenly Sword? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it kind of does look like like a, a white Kratos and and the chick from Heavenly Sword. Yeah. Which, if I'm not mistaken, isn't this game by the same people who made Heavenly Sword? Yes, Ninja Theory. Ninja Theory. Yes. They got a thing for redheads. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Of course, her hair isn't nearly as um, as impressive as uh, what's her face in yeah. Heavenly Sword was. True. True. I liked Heavenly Sword. someday I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna make a feature where we play Heavenly Sword. I had Andy Circus in it too. I forgot about that. Holy shit. I can't. If my heart stops beating for any reason, the headband will discharge it. What? <laughs> He's just slapping, like, candy out of her hands and, and like, fried dough. He's like, no Doritos loaded. If your heart stops, I die. <laughs> Has anybody had those Doritos loaded things? I kind of want to make I Jason eat them. Cause I did. It was terrible. Was it? Yeah. It was cardboard. Yeah? Yeah. It was the worst. I bet it was salty and cheesy, though. Kind of. Like, yeah. we were... But granted, I was on vacation, and I was like, you know what? Because the only place I've ever seen them not sold out yeah. is in Colorado, uh -huh. where everyone is, like, hyper biker. Uh -huh. Like, I went to a place called Syrup. Like, the name <laughs> of the restaurant was Syrup in Denver, and it's, like, <laughs> a pancake. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, go on. It was a pancake place, right? Okay, yeah, I would hope so. <laughs> and I was like, I was told you have amazing pancakes. Mm -hmm. I would like your amazing pancakes and one of every syrup. Yeah. Because it's like a dollar a syrup. Right. And so I was like, I want one of every syrup. How many were there? It was uh, like $150 for this oh one. Oh, no, it was, it was 10 syrups. Oh, okay. So okay. it was, but it was fun, like all the different syrups. And he was... And I was like, do you have any other suggestions for other thing? He was like, well, I wouldn't have gotten all that pancake and syrups. I would have gotten a protein. Well, <laughs> we're at a place called Syrup. <laughs> was this what? the waiter? Yes. You might have, well, of course you would. I'm sure you could only <laughs> eat pancakes for two weeks straight before you're just like, I don't want pancakes ever again. <laughs> so, yeah, he was like, no, you want some protein. And so I'm like. 
people in Denver like super weirdo health nuts. Yeah. When I lived in Seattle, uh, they were like that there too. Like uh, so this people, these people that I knew very uh, vaguely. Wait, who? Oh, um, the one day they were like, hey, it's Saturday. We're going to go swimming. Do you want to come with us? Wow. And I was like, yeah, sure. They're like, yeah, there's this pool. It comes directly out of the sound, and they, like, desalinate it or whatever, and it's great. And I was like, yeah, that sounds awesome. Uh, so we went, and it turns out what they were doing was it was, like, eight people that kind of knew each other a little bit, and they were going to the pool to swim laps. What? And uh, so I felt like an asshole because I went there to splash around in the pool like right. you do here in <laughs> Austin. You're just like, oh, my God, it's not a million degrees. This is wonderful. Um, so I'm just hanging out in the in the kind of semi-shallow side with all these children, just like, you guys come here to play? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, me too. <laughs> but that's when I found out that it's hard to, you know, that parents look, they don't like the idea of like a, well, at the time, like 25-year-old guy just hanging around with their kids playing <laughs> in the pool. You think? <laughs> you think, Jeff? I wasn't just doing maybe. anything. I like going to the pool. Okay, wait. How do I make her oh do this? Oh, my goodness. No, that's block. But yeah, so that's where th I got the Doritos loaded. So I don't know if it was kind of bland. Uh, okay. Also because it was just sitting there. Uh huh. Uh, with the healthy people not eating it. Oh, so like is the exact same one that had been under the heat lamp for like a week. That's yeah. what I'm worried about. Okay. Kind of like the, the. That was what you were worried about. You were <laughs> eating a. You were eating a fucking <laughs> cheese stick made out of Doritos. Vacation Cromer. <laughs> oh. Oh wait. Go. Down. Location Cromer. Oh my gosh, I ate so many things. Okay, what else? And then, oh, so I have a thing for diners, so I would go and get diner burgers. Yeah. And when you're in the Southwest, mm -hmm. like the Albert, New Mexico to Southern uh, Colorado, they yeah. put green chili on everything. I even had caramel corn. You know? With green yeah. chili? With green chili. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's crazy. They're crazy what? for green chili there. It was insane. I was like, what's with all the green chili? That's apparently all the math. What? Oh <laughs> and everyone in Albuquerque has done math, except for my friend Ryan, who I visited. <laughs> like, he's the only one. That's what he <laughs> said, Kayla. He's just telling you <laughs> so that you'll believe him. <laughs> Nice. Was, I was listening to a podcast where they were talking about that's one of the things they kind of wanted Breaking Bad to do was to actually have at least one moment in the entire series where there was an example of like, yeah, this guy is messing up a whole bunch of people's lives by cooking and distributing methamphetamines. <laughs> like, it's a scourge to the community and a public health issue and like a horrible travesty that we're all still trying to deal with. And yet it's like, no, but he's he's he's... Like, he needs to prove himself to people. It's like, who cares? Anyway. Yeah. That's why The Wire is a better show. That's right. I said it. It's a better show than Breaking Bad. Um, <laughs> at least the <laughs> second through fourth seasons. Suck on that, chat. <laughs> they, they, they'll they probably respond in a few minutes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> when they catch up. Suckers. Oh, all the, right. the, the chat's telling me that Ryan does meth all the time. So. Oh, okay, they they know Ryan personally. Yeah, they they outed him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, well. you can't believe Ryan, Kayla. Come on. <laughs> so, so he said but you can believe the chat. I know. They never <laughs> lie to you ever. <laughs> the chat ever. is truth. Yeah, John, because Superman sucks, right? That's yeah. Chat said it. Yeah, they must did. be true. <laughs> I've changed. You know what? I've changed my life because of it. Doesn't and even Jeff get me upset anymore. the mantis eye. That's right. Yeah. 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 I don't think we had a single. And apparently, well, you, well, while Kayla was gone, I don't think anybody asked me about mantis porn. Yeah, really? they just found out that I have a thing about <laughs> defending Superman, and also I have a huge hate for Frank Miller. So yeah. So you know. <laughs> And then they kind of have been focusing on that. So when I went to Albuquerque, my friend Ryan's there, and so is my aunt. Mm -hmm. And so we, it was really cute because my aunt's like in her uh -oh. late 50s uh -huh. and Ryan's in his early 20s. And they're and dating? That's weird. They're, and they're, but they had like, they're, they're like, hey, let's hang out. Uh -huh. Like, I'm totally the worst hostess, too, because I'm like, hey, Ryan, you want to hang out with me? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to this brewery. You're 20. So oh, that's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> you just um, 
just sit there, you know, <laughs> just hang terrible. out while I go to this brewery. And he's like, cool, this is awesome. And then I was like, okay, I also need to go do this other errand. We went to We're the going other. to a strip club. <laughs> That's right. You wait outside. You have to wait outside, unfortunately. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. There's also the thing about gambling because there's oh, shit. Oh. casinos yeah. in Albuquerque on the reservations, and it's like, well, we can't go because Brian is 20. What? And then uh, no, 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 I, I no. got exhausted doing all my errands and all my over 21 stuff. Yeah. And so my aunt's like, well, it's time for my soap operas. <laughs> so we go back to her house to watch her soap opera. Uh huh. And Did you bring Ryan with you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And I was but like, hey, Ryan, I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> 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 Have fun with my aunt. Have fun <laughs> with my 50-year-old uh, uh, soap-watching aunt. I hope you're all caught up on One Life to Live. Don't worry. She'll explain it to you for the next four hours. <laughs> <laughs> and I totally <laughs> Oh, Kale, I want to go on vacation with you now. <laughs> <laughs> no. What are we going to do now? Well, we got to go pick up uh, some shit at the grocery store. Uh, <laughs> bird, bird. Get him, monkey! Oh, Get him, yeah. monkey! So, oh shit! Ryan nope. was totally accommodating. It was very lovely. Bam, but yeah, bam. he was just. And then the next day, we went on the longest um, tram, like air tram. Okay. You know those things that hang in the the sky from a cable, like a monorail or a yeah, cable car. It's like two miles long. Yeah. Up this mountain. And I didn't ask if he was afraid of heights. <laughs> I just kind of, <laughs> we just kind of went. And the whole time he was like, oh my God. Well, that would be the sort of thing where when you're getting ready to step onto the cable car, the sky car with the tracks going up, you'd be like, hey, by the way, um, turns out I'm terrified of even jumping in the air because that's too high off the ground for me. Uh, <laughs> And then when we got to the top, there was an electrical storm. Oh, no. <laughs> That's even worse. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just like... Ryan, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ryan. I hope you're listening. But everyone was... Um, so his friends are complaining right now because I brought him a giant box of my Jar Jars. I didn't bring him the eight-foot Jar Jar beans. Right. But I bought him, like, a huge box of wow. all my Jar Jars. Do you hate him, or is this, like, some kind of witchcraft? He loves Jar Jar, too. Okay, well, there you go. And he likes collecting stuff, and since I had to consolidate a lot when I was moving, I brought him this giant thing, and yeah. one of them sings and dances oh my to God. the Cantina song. That sounds terrible. That what? sounds like the worst. Does it sound like your dream? No, it sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Well, apparently, like. Uh, not to go back to your, your Jeff versus beer thing, but yeah. every time you just kept humming the Coca Cabana theme song, you were actually yep. doing the Cantina song. <laughs> well, that's the only one that I know. I know the Weird Al version, not the regular version. So, yeah. So, you know, I can only imagine the, the fact that your, your drunk brain goes to the Star Wars Cantina theme song. Yeah, because up until now, I've, uh, I've been able to pass myself off as such a cool guy. Yeah. Uh, but now they're all going to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, the chat said it was Kayla's version of Training Day. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh-oh, power cells. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, so apparently, a lot of the chat has heard this singing, dancing jar jar that I gave him. <laughs> Sorry, chat. <laughs> oh wait, is it open? It oh, okay, there we go. Um. And now you're in the new room. Okay. Hey, Jeff. Severity mech. They want to know if you'll sing fancy for them. No. Why not? Well, first of all, I don't know the words. Um, Tokyo. Second of all, uh, if I did know the words, it would probably be the Weird Al version, just like oh. Do Copa Cabana. <laughs> um, and thirdly, uh, just any song named Fancy just gives me horrible flashbacks of that country western song that I hate more than uh, all life itself. All life itself, guys. Yes. Sorry. Uh, God, I hate that stupid fancy song. They're wondering when you aren't drunk. When the, well, right now I'm not. See, he's not drunk right now. But I do have to go to the bathroom, so John, take over here for me for a second. Yeah, John. I'll be right back. Give me something right when I'm taking a sip of my soda. Yeah, well, you know, I, I pick, my, pick my moments. Oh. 
All right. So, yeah, that was ah, my, my the Albuquerque. Controls are inverted. It's terrible, isn't it? I don't... I can never do it, but I can barely do it, like... When it's regular, either. Yeah. It, so I've been playing um, Bioshock, the first one. Because I, I couldn't find the, the first one originally, and I was, like, playing the Bioshock Infinite. Yeah. Is that what it's called? And I was, like, playing in the... I'm like, John, I don't understand anything. I don't, how do I use this power again? It just told me one time. And he's like, go play the first one. It'll, like, yeah, teach yeah, you how to of, use ah. these controls. Okay, I went back. So this infinite is fine. It's like a beautiful, you know, Wizard of Oz world of yeah. steampunk beauty, yes. you know? Yes, it's a very bright world. Oh, my gosh. This Bioshock game is so scary. It's so scary. Everything's dark and creepy. Oh, my God. And, but I'll, John's kind of, wa my John yeah. is kind of watching in the in the background. Well, he's editing his podcast, and uh, he'll watch me, and he'll be he'll kind of give me pointers, or he'll like laugh at me because I'm like, oh no, I can't look, and I get really scared going into the next rooms for the next guys who are gonna come jump out at me. And oh my gosh, like I'm so used to B being like a button that doesn't mean health. Then when I get nervous about people shooting, I just use up all my life. And he's like, stop. Because yeah. you have all your health buttons. Yeah, he's yeah. Like, stop button. You're using up all your health. You're killing yourself for no reason. So that's his number one complaint about me with the, the Bioshock. But, oh, my God, that, that game's so scary. I'm going to have to play for you guys. Yeah, they definitely want me to do that. I'm like, oh. But I thought it was funny that you were like, it's scary? <laughs> yeah, it's a creepy game. I get that it's creepy. Oh it's not really a scary I guess it could be scary depending on, you know, different different outlooks. I mean, the, the, the little sisters are really creepy and oh. and stuff. No, stuff the little like sisters that. are fine. They're cute little kids. They don't really do anything bad. It's, to... it's all the spider people singing and it's all the, like dentist guy he's so freaking scary oh my god <laughs> so i'm told that john i was totally right about the justice league ultimate thing we were discussing on here last week i had to go fact check it to verify because i'm awesome and have no life okay what what was the thing that you were verifying uh right. justice league unlimited by G. Miller 47 okay i don't i'm, I'm sorry it was a week ago my, my memory lasts like three <laughs> days okay. Oh, are they? S they say the Silent Hill Two is scary. Would that scare me? Yeah, that, that's pretty. A pretty scary game. Okay, so I'm saving a story about scary times for when Jeff is taking the longest fee of my entire life. Eh. Okay, fully oh my gosh, Jeff, what did you drink? Yeah, longest pee of my life. It's like the um, the League of Their Own pee that Tom Hanks takes. Yeah, well, there's a Just reason. Is that, that how do I go over the A? So I was talking about how scared I was playing Bioshock. Uh huh. And they're like, "Yeah, we need to watch." There we go. I, it'll be the most boring video we put on Rage yeah. Select because I won't be talking to anyone. It'll just be me with a light on me yeah. and a video, me playing Bioshock, scared to death. So <laughs> I'm gonna give you the controller back because it's inverted and, then and everyone it's really will freaking me out. Okay. And I um, wasn't gonna stop the game. So yeah, you got to go back over to her. Aww. I just I just killed the bad guys. For okay. You. Thank you, John. But yeah, You're they, welcome. They also said I need to play a Silent Hill too. But I, w I wanted to tell you guys a story about my trip to Colorado. All right. So in uh, Lakewood, where my sister lives, which is a suburb of Denver, uh -huh. there is. Sorry, John, John. Where am I going? Uh, you go go go. Uh, you got to go back. Uh, go around there. Go through that door. Uh -huh. uh, you'll notice there's a behind you. That? Yeah, you got to get over there. Go get um, it. Uh, I think it's a wall. You can climb up the wall. Okay. Okay, thank you. Look at you, little monkey. Climb up Ooh. that wall. All right, there we go. 
Sorry, Kayla, go ahead. I'm no, sorry. Wait. I didn't want to so, hold up the work. Do you guys watch South Park? Of course. Yes. I Kay. used to anyways. So there's an episode of uh, South Park that it's Casa Bonita and Cartman really wants to go to the yeah. birthday party there. Yeah. And so that's a real place in okay. Lakewood, like a mile from my sister's house. And I drove past it and I was like, we have to go there. <laughs> was we it? Did to. it? Was it like the show? It was like the show, but more extreme. Really? Oh, really? <laughs> they toned it down for the show. Yeah. Holy shit, really? <laughs> wow. I think it's the first time I've ever heard that for anything in regards to South Park. Yeah. And so you go online and you're like, you try to get the cheapest thing on the menu. And the cheapest thing in the menu is like $14. Right. And it's terrible. Sh and everything has cheese just ladled on it. Okay. And first you go into this... W so there is, like, a th there's a monkey show. There's guys monkey j show. jumping off cliffs. Okay. That they're made inside this building. There's arcades. And uh -huh. It's just crazy. Like, the only thing that wasn't the same is they don't wear, like, Mexican-style dresses. Okay. That was the only thing that wasn't like the show. Little flag for Asmore Sopapia. Did they gelada. have? Uh, did they have the Wild West like take your picture in Wild West clothes? Yes. Holy crap! They have all of that. Oh, well, you just you see that episode of South Park, you just assume that it's some shit Trey Parker and Matt Stone made up. <laughs> it's all real. Wow. Wait, which place was this again? I apologize. It's Casa Bonita. It is in a shopping center, and Cartman really wants to go, and so you go and you get all you can eat food, all yeah. you can eat Sopapia. The yeah. sugary kind. Yeah, yeah. I vaguely remember a place like this that was in Houston. Oh, yeah? Uh, where you bl raise a flag and they come bring you soap peas and then you raise it again when you want more. And yeah, See yeah. I vaguely remember this. Dragonfly. And But this place has, like, they have three dining areas. And one dining area has, like, a papa show. One dining area has, like, a magician show or a monkey show <laughs> or, like, uh, different shows. And then they have cliff divers uh -huh. and a waterfall. And you can eat around that. And <laughs> my mind is getting blown here. This is all moment. completely, completely bizarre. Uh, press B to carry her. Okay. And press so A to throw her up. Wee. You have to eat like you're held hostage at your table uh -huh. until you finish eating. Okay. And it's like, like they're like, I'm like, can we g get up and go watch the diving show? Are you done eating? <laughs> No. So, like, well, if you stop, then they're then you're going to they're going to take your stuff and as, as soon as you done. stop eating, you stopped eating. Yeah. Your okay. unlimited soap of peas is over. Right. Okay. So well, that makes a, that makes a <laughs> certain amount of sense. I mean, you know, otherwise you just spend all day there messing around doing stuff and then asking for more soap of peas every time you were hungry. Exactly. So. And, uh, and that's what you them expected. Then <laughs> not when you walk around eating soap of Hia's. I get it. Not wanting your entire restaurant covered in honey and sugar. Like. Well, also, they don't want to keep giving you soap of Hia's. They, right. you know, <laughs> the unlimited is there to get you in the door, but then they want to do whatever they can to make you not actually eat unlimited soap of Hia's. Exactly. So, oh my gosh. And, like, there's mirrors on the ceiling. Like, it's this crazy, crazy place. And everyone's slightly half-heartedly doing their job, which I love. Mm -hmm. Like, my favorite thing in the world is disgruntled employees. <laughs> I think it's, like, the funniest thing. This is not a thing you hear other people <laughs> say very often, Kayla. <laughs> Boy, I love, not that I love more than just a person who doesn't like their job and <laughs> just kind of doesn't want to talk to you and kind of an Oh, ass. yeah. It's like the Trey guy. He was just like, Trey. Trey. Right. Trey. I, I love it. Like. <laughs> so going to the DMV must be like Christmas for you. You're just like, oh my God, this is the best. Um, you just love it when a person's soul has been crushed <laughs> and they have no, like, no dreams and hopes. There you go. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's also fun when they're like overly nice. Sure. Like yeah. the guy. I had s such great service, and so many of the places in Colorado has amazing service because mm -hmm. a lot of the places there have done um, profit sharing. And so okay. how well the restaurant or brewery does is based on Yeah, you get a, you get a bonus, in. right. And so 
people are really nice at their jobs. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm not used to such amazing service every <laughs> turn. I like, used to Austin where they're like, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Here's your food. That's Don't right. talk to me. I'll be back in about 30 minutes to see if you want to refill. Right. Oh, yeah. I forgot it. She's got that little dragonfly so, thing on her head now. Oh, my gosh. It was just amazing. So, talking of scary things, yes. right? Yes. They're like Kayla's the only one who goes to Walmart to to watch them boys playing Mad World in the background. <laughs> it's pretty much true. Like John, my John Rubio says, like Walmart's an exclusively Kayla Cromer experience. He never goes to Walmart unless it's with me. But I am addicted. Like I, love I, I never go to Walmart ever. I love Walmart I so hate, much. I hate that place. <laughs> Last time I went there, I went to get a controller, and they had what I needed, but they didn't have enough people. They had chained the controllers down because they were afraid of people stealing them. So I stood for like 30 minutes watching a family of like 1,600 <laughs> sign up for like individual cell phone plans and then went, fuck this. I'll drive way out of my way to get this at a Best Buy where I know that it exists. Oh my gosh. I go to Walmart for, you know, Legos. You can order Legos off of Amazon, John. Yeah, but then I can't if you have find them right the then link and there. I have to wait for them to ship it to me. If I go to Walmart or Toys R Us, I can get, I can pay for the Legos right then and there, and then I get to go home and I have the Legos. You know, if you go find on uh, RageSlight.com, there's an Amazon link, and if you click through it to buy your Legos, uh, then you're a good person. And if you don't, then you're terrible. Oh, wow. Maybe I should do that with my school supplies. <laughs> no, I'm a I'm terrible person. I'll, I'll, I'll admit it. Get the link and then go... Ooh, okay. So, also, I'm going to just say this about Walmart yeah. in Colorado. It's really weird. My sister's flip-flops broke, so we had to go buy some. I went to Walmart. Yeah. Walmart in Denver, like mm -hmm. Boulder, grocery store. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's only a grocery oh, store. Oh, really? You it's only the grocery store por portion. That's yeah. weird. You can't that is get flip-flops at Walmart. That is extreme. Or you get flip-flops at H-E-B here. You, <laughs> you get flip-flops at, at the Walgreens. grocery store. Yeah. You get flip-flops at the... Q Mart, <laughs> like yeah, <laughs> I'm just used to shoes being everywhere yeah. in Texas. I guess like it's so hot that we just melt our shoes and right. always need more. <laughs> uh, so um, okay, okay. So I'm at Casa Bonita, right? All right. So, oh, we're back to that. Okay. Well, because I was saying how I get scared so easily. Okay. Right? Yeah. So there's a spooky ghost show, and you got a little frightened. So there's, I've only seen. I've only seen it on the television show where there's like this pirate's cove. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And you go in, it's kind of this spooky. So <laughs> it's meant for kids, but we're like, we're doing it. We're doing it all. Yeah. Sure. And so you have to climb up like this fake mountain, like s going switch back, back and forth. And we're behind like a little family with three very young kids and a mom. Mm -hmm. And okay. as we're going up, the kids are getting like nervous more and more nervous mm -hmm. and i'm like what and and then the little baby j like the two-year-old girl's like wow i'm not going in there and so <laughs> she nopes out she's she goes behind us okay and then <laughs> so the two little kids are like we're gonna go and mo the mom's like i'll meet you at the the side you know the other end right and so they're in front of us and they kind of just take off and we're big, and so we have to kind of hunch over yeah. uh -huh. and crawl through it. And it's spooky uh -huh. like, and dark, and it's getting darker and darker. And so I am in the front of the line, uh. which I hate at any kind of haunted house. And I'm like, yeah. And it's like all of a sudden there's this black part. Yeah, and the like, black I'm, void. It's so black. I don't know. I'm scared. Yeah. And so I'm scared at this point. I don't like thing Kinda. walking in the dark. It's yeah, terrifying no, it. to me. And all of a sudden, these two little kids nope out. They're like, ah! And they run back <laughs> towards the entrance, which makes my adrenaline, like, get even higher. And uh -huh. then I'm like, okay, let's keep going. And then my sister's husband's like, um, guys... Hi. Um, I'm having an anxiety attack right now. I'm sorry. What was <laughs> happening in this thing? <laughs> was this just a dark hallway? <laughs> Are you guys the biggest weenies in the world so far? You haven't told me about any ghosts or spirits. It's just We walked up to a thing. It was dark in there. 
<laughs> and everybody is like afraid of the devil, apparently. <laughs> so my sister John, was like, I'm not going to. idea s- what the fuck's going on here? Um, I'm not going to stay. I don't remember. But I'm going to go with my husband. Right. And so I'm like, oh, I, think I'm you, I think you just go up there just to get those. Be up I here. I could be wrong. Alone uh-huh. in the dark cave. Right. So I know about two. And so <laughs> John's listening to Ruby is listening to this story of going like it's a, a pirate theme haunted house in a shopping center yes. Mexican restaurant. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And, Eight people no bounds. <laughs> like, well, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what exactly it was that was frightening. Because so far, you haven't said anything that's frightening. It was, it was super intense. <laughs> what was intense? Tell me a thing, Kayla. So far, you've told me it was dark. It that's was. been the entirety of what you it was told me. Dark. A dark cave with everyone leaving. Did a oh, hand yeah. grab you, or did like? No. Uh, well, the children ran screaming okay. from the forest, well, and so, yeah. Children are weenies. They're afraid of uh, all kinds of stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> if, if that gives you a clue of how, now, why Bioshock is so incredibly scary Yeah, I'm starting to understand. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to see what you're talking about. Is yeah, there, yeah. Um, uh, can I, uh, I can't, well, I can't go that way. That's all mines. <laughs> <laughs> they said my stories yeah. are full of adjectives and no plot. Okay, you stay here. <laughs> um, can she not go up there with you? She can go up here, but she can't shimmy uh, when I get on a little uh, this little thing. So I'm going to see if I can't figure out a way. Okay, so I know where I have to go. I just don't know how to get there. Um, yeah, I listen to uh, Welcome to Night Vale while I walk my dog in the dark by myself. Uh and that's maybe like <laughs> once, I guess, I've gotten a little bit creeped out in some of the parts where they do a really good job. Uh, but other than that, it's kind of... Okay, so wait. Oh, where is she? There she is. Can I go like, like from there, over here, and then onto that thing? And then when I get up to there, can I get onto that truck oh, and that car? My stories are like a Michael Bay film. <laughs> can you push that off? Can you push the car off? Yeah. Uh, no, no. Oh, I was gonna it's say if you could push it like. Um, that doesn't make any sense either. What does that mean? Your stories are like a Michael Bay film. I guess all adjectives and no plot. There was no gratuitous explosions. There was no underage. Uh, like well, there was. Lady. There was gratuitous darkness. Okay, there <laughs> was. Yeah. The dark- like everything was Wait, dark. Where is, where is, no, I no, I know game. I'm sorry. I pushed the button. Yeah, you did. Okay, so if I grab grab her, get her on my back, right, and I come over here, can I jump from here onto that, like, abandoned bus thing like that? There we go. Okay. <laughs> Took me a minute. Um, up there. Also, if you guys aren't listening to uh, Welcome to Night Vale, it's a pretty good podcast. You I should. Don't, I don't like how short it is, but I managed to not listen to it until now, so it's only 20 minutes of podcast, which for my money is, like, nothing. And it's considering it's free. Yeah, but it's all it's free, and there's like fifty some odd episodes. So um, I do get a little pissed off though when they go to the weather, because uh, a lot of times I don't want to listen to the dumb music. I just want to listen to Cecil uh, <laughs> talk. Yeah, talk about stuff. So I want to know what happened gathering? with Carlos. Why are you playing Easter egg hunt? What? Where? Oh, <laughs> right you mean right in front, front of, of me? Oh shit! Um, that's power for. We haven't gotten to it yet, but there's some kind of like, oh, no, some kind of upgrade okay. thing that you use the little pellets for. Um, he died. Yeah. Like you can, you, you can shoot. Eventually, you'll get an upgrade that lets you sh- use your, uh, your stick to like shoot at people, like a gun, and you get some more shields. Cool. So. Same guy. Bow. Monkey. That... She's talking about the robot thief. Yeah, yeah. we died. Uh, so oh, okay. Yeah. So. so we were asking what is Welcome to Night Vale. It's a podcast, but it's done like a news Yeah, report. it's like community radio. Yeah, it's like yeah. a small town called Night Vale. There's a community radio, and it's this weird town. Think Twin Peaks meets The X-Files meets whatever. Yeah. Uh, whatever f- creepy 
horror I, stuff. Like terrible things happen there, but the community radio guy just kind of treats it like he's talking about other stuff. Like it's everyday, th- everyday yeah. occurrences in this town. Like they talk about the sheriff's secret police all the time and the hooded um, figures. Yeah. Like the very first episode, this is when Jason pitched it to me, was there's a whole segment where they talk about there's a new dog park in Night Vale. Dogs are not allowed in the dog park. People, People are, are not allowed in the dog park. Do not think about the dog park. Right. <laughs> uh... Well, do so you um, no? uh, okay. there's a television show called Eureka. It's on Netflix right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of that. Mm-hmm. Like it would be the newscast for that town. Yeah. I Just guess. everyone treats it like every day. Yeah. I, is there a. So. Am I yeah, no, I, I definitely. Yeah, it's, it's something like that. But it's free and it's pretty cool. Um, and and they also support their community pretty well, or interact with their community pretty well, because the community has done stuff to, uh, like to write like, I guess you could say fan okay, fiction right. or. Just, what? You can't go too far away from her. Uh, well, I wanted a a brief moment to turn back. I was getting ready to turn around. Son of a junk. Well, then do it already. Yeah, girl. Because then I gotta fight that robot again. Yep. Come on, robot. Oh, damn it. Damn you, robot. Okay, hit him with your thing, and then this thing. Yeah. Nope, that boop, thing. Boop, boop. I will say, uh, just looking at a comment from the uh, from the chat, uh, yep. Fallout 48 said Alan Wake is one of his favorite games of last gen. Last gen. Mm-hmm. Mine, too. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of Remedy, uh, the, the company that makes that game. I'm really looking forward to Quantum I'm, Break whenever it comes out. I never... Got all the way through Alan Wake. Really? I started it. I will say I didn't have an Xbox for a long time. Oh, okay, that, that's a good point. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Don't blow my brain up, all right? You're good. You're um, good. Does her heart stop because she misses you? N- no. She, no. Your, your brain explodes <laughs> because you go too far. Okay, well, lady, I can't. It's just all mines. Mines, mines, mines. I mean, like, uh, is there, like, a shimmy up a thing? Or... Why am I? Why is this so difficult? Can't you climb up some vines? I'm trying to. She won't respond to anything. Well, yeah. <laughs> I can do that. Um, can I get like in? No, mines are down there. Mines. So many mines. Do you guys know about the community podcast? We do, or I do at least. You do? What's I do. It, what's it like? Is it Have so you listened to it at all? I've listened to a little bit of it. Um, it seems like it's pretty cool. Um, I really do, though, limit my exposure to um, video, any game stuff. video game stuff because I have bad crypto memory problems. I've, I, I saw that PewDiePie guy on the Instagram. Yeah. I was like, oh, he's kind of cute. Yeah. He has a cute girlfriend. That's uh, about all I know about him. What the fuck am I yeah. missing here? Do you listen to other podcasts? Uh, I listen to uh, Giant Bomb. Uh, it's the only one, and I listen to them because I've listened to them for years. What am I supposed to be doing here? What am I missing? I can't. There's no. Is that where you're supposed to be going? Well, uh, may okay, maybe not. But like that's there's a whole pathway that's going over there, and everything else is just 100 percent mines. And if I go too far in that direction, my brain explodes. Yeah. And maybe there? there? Yeah, maybe down there. I don't even know if I can get down there. Maybe not. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can get down there. But even Giant Bomb is, I mean, you know, those guys are great and everything, but they've things have changed so much there since um, in the last couple of years that it's a very different can you get show. On that car? Can you jump on that car? Well, that's where I came I from. Think he, oh. ne- he has to get to the far side of the map, is what the chat says. Well, if I see the problem here is if I go too far, then my brain explodes. Yeah. So I mean, you I got a okay. jumper and piggy pack over her. Okay. Well, I I can't jump from there to where she is. I will die of mines, or maybe I can, and I'm just not. You're not brave. Okay. <laughs> Great. Good job. All right. Cool. I <laughs> all right. All right. Why are you going backwards? Because there's a thingy over here. Oh. You gonna throw her? Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, throw her. Gotta throw her. Gotta throw her over there. Get over there. Wee. Um. 
All right, that didn't. Now you got to pick her up. God, you just can't do anything, can you? Um, well, you got to take her with you. Well, she can oh. she can run on her own. Right. She just can't jump very far. Um, yeah, her I don't. Are already torn. If she jumped, they would tear more. <laughs> this is a good point. You don't want to blow <laughs> out the crotch of your only good pair of apocalypse <laughs> pants. Um, yeah, I don't know. People have always asked, they've asked that a lot about who else do you uh, like listen to as far as video game stuff goes. Extra credits from time to time. They were know. just saying podcasts in general. What you guys listen to? Uh, Cracked and Night Vale, and I just added Radio Lab to my podcast. Love Radio uh, Lab. Uh, and then a really fascinating one that I just started listening to that was about this guy with this crazy. Um, oh no, wait! I want you to go. Hey. Um, this guy who has a oh shit, this seems like not a good idea. Nope. Uh, all right, because you were supposed to go up that pole. Um, this guy who has this, well, do your thing. You gotta wait for it to charge. Uh, um, this guy who has this like box where he's like running electrical current through people's brains and it's helping them like learn way faster. Uh, that was a really cool, cool thing. It was a little bit bizarre. Uh, like the the test was they had this woman that they put on this sniper course, and she was terrible at it, uh, like the highest difficulty level. Yeah. And then they started running electric current through her brain, and said she was like a trained killer, and yeah. time dilated for her, and like the whole thing, it's like two hours, like it seemed like it went by in like twenty minutes for her. It was crazy. Yeah. I thought about running some current across my brain, but then I don't, I don't need to learn anything. So you know, <laughs> I already know everything. I don't know. Uh, yeah. What I would use it for. I apparently listen to a lot of podcasts because I listed a lot of them off last week, and uh, Jeff was like, Jesus Christ, John, you listen to a lot of podcasts. Yeah. Uh, like, I listened to Art of Wrestling with Colt Cabana, in which he interviews various wrestlers uh, about their you know lives and, and how they got into wrestling and things like that. Uh, then I listened to uh, Loikamania, which is a comics podcast uh, hosted by a friend of mine, Pat Loika. Uh, who is the comics ambassador for the entire industry. Uh, he's an awesome dude. Uh, he actually interviews a lot of comic creators, comic artists about books that they do. Uh, there's another podcast called The Last Call by Dean Tripp and Ross. Uh, I can't remember his last name, but uh, that's pretty fun. It's kind of the Kavita. Is it? Is it's after the apo- after the uh, the zombie apocalypse and after the alien invasion? All that's left on Earth is. Uh, a robot with uh, Ross's memories and personality and the ghost of Dean Tripp. Uh, that's all that's left on the earth. And they found a way to transmit um, like health pack. transmit audio podcasts back to our time to kind of tell us what we what things that should be happening that we need to know about so that we can avoid the you know avoid the, the you know the apocalypses that occurred on earth in an attempt to try to change history and it's just it's them having fun yeah uh it's actually it's a lot of fun they they talk pretty much like just regular pop culture stuff i listen to how did this get made which i love that podcast that was the one i was gonna bring yeah. up after radio lab yeah how did this oh get gosh. made is fun um and then uh i listen to uh as far as gaming ones i listen to uh first for gamers with uh I can't remember their names, but it's a couple guys from the old One Up, uh, One Up podcast, mm-hmm. uh, which I'm I was a, that was what I used to listen to as far as gaming podcasts go. But since One Up doesn't exist anymore, um, and then uh, I started listening to yeah, Jesus, you do Player listen to a lot one. of podcasts. I'm I say started it again listening this week. to uh, pl- listen to Player One podcast, which is a gaming podcast. However, I kind of don't like those guys; they're kind of kind of non interesting. Were they the ones? Were they the ones that you were telling me about that they one time? Of, yeah, they just shit on everything. Yeah. And and then they well and it's weird because they're also huge Nintendo fanboys, which there's nothing wrong with that because I'm also a huge Nintendo fanboy. Mm-hmm. But it's just like then they turn around and shit on everything, right? And they they shit on er- all the other both Microsoft and Sony for not being Nintendo, and then they shit on Nintendo for being Nintendo. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, that doesn't make any sense, you know, kind of thing. It's like, well, what what are you guys happy about? Talk about something you like, and it, they don't. So it's it's kind of. I, I've recently oh, stopped listening it. to it. So she, this thing is just going to open back up as soon as I stop hitting it. Right, and then it'll be vulnerable. Well, so if I go any further, she's going to blow my brain up. 
Nope. Yeah. Ow, 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 uh, but yeah, and that's, uh, I, I can't think of anything else that I actually listen to off the top. Well, and the pr- thing is I walk to work, so I listen to at least a, a podcast every day. Yeah. Uh, so it's kind of one of those things, uh, and, I, and I can get a full hour-long podcast on my walk to work. Uh, and um, so it's kind of one of those things where I have to have a different podcast available for me to listen to once every day. So. And then I'm, I love Audible, so I listen to books. So. I always get, I, I've... I've started my free trial with Audible.com like mm-hmm. uh, at least two, twenty 20 or 30 times at this point. But I just find that I can't... Um, oh, there we go. I can't... Um, uh, I always leave off and then uh, don't ever come back. Or by the time I come back, it's been long enough that I don't remember. Plus, I just don't... I like. I prefer to read my books instead of listening yeah, to them. You like to touch paper. No, no, I hate that shit. I, <laughs> Oh, I really love my, my Kindle. Really quickly, uh, G Miller 47. That was Loika Mania. Loika Mania. Yeah. Podcast. Okay. Uh, so it's 4.03. Okay. So we're going to do some questions for the next 30 minutes. Oh, shit. Okay. Is it, right. Yeah, because at 4.30, we're going to take a break. Oh. Ah, robots. All right. Kill them. So, so some of the questions, they're more weighty. Okay. I'm going to wait. Oh, ow. We'll hit them okay. in the second half. I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Beat that dude. All right? Bam. So, do you guys Whoa. like Lost in Translation? I did in my 20s. I never watched it. I can't th- remember what it is. The Bill Murray, Scarlett, Scarlett Johansson. Johansson. That's all right. I never watched it. When I was in my artsy movie phase, I loved it. Let's see. What WWE star would you most want to star in their own third-person action game right now? John, that one's for me. Uh, yeah. I can say that right <laughs> <Understand>. now. <laughs> uh, the, the person said that they would choose Dean Ambrose. Yeah, no, he'd be fun. Uh, does Andre the Giant count? I would just like to play an Andre the Giant video game. That would e- be beautiful. I don't even care if it is actually like wrestling. Isn't there already a Princess Bride game? Is there? I don't know. Mm, I do not believe so. I don't yeah, think I don't so. it's my imagination. I know that yeah. there was dreams. the Bard's Tale game where Carrie always did the main character voice, but mm. um, yeah. I don't think there was actually ever a Princess Bride game. I think By there the way, might be someone making one right now. If you haven't ever if you haven't ever read it, the Princess Bride book is really cool. Yeah. The William Golding book. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really good book. It's also a lot different than you may think it is. If yes. you're like, I've seen the movie, I already know everything. No, you don't. <laughs> So, um, who would you choose? Um, it depends on if you're asking. Again, this is a really long answer. Uh, it, if you're asking, like currently active superstars or former not. Do active. one of each. One of each. Uh, currently not active. I'm gonna say CM Punk. Okay. Uh, because I would love to see him, him in a movie because I think he's actually very talented. Current. Uh, I would like Game. to see Dolph Ziggler. Uh. Uh, be in something, which apparently he's supposedly going to be in something uh, in a in a movie uh, directed by Max Brooks. Wait, was it was it asking movie or game? But he's asking game, and I'm okay. saying either of those guys I think would be great as a character in a game as well. Ultimate Warrior. So they're saying Cena, Brooklyn Brawler, Randy Orton. That's what the God, Randy thinks. Borton? No, no. So oh. boring. <laughs> Chris wow. Benoit. Benoit. Ben- Benoit. Benoit. Chris Banal. Um or otherwise known as he, he'll shall not be named, uh, <laughs> for reasons that I will not go into on the show. I just want to play, like, Octo Dad, but with the Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> he just goes around doing daily things. Just being the Ultimate Warrior? Just being the Ultimate Warrior, yeah. and then, like, going to the store and opening a bank account and doing <laughs> regular stuff. But just with muscles? Yeah, and super dramatic dialogue and stuff. Yeah. Let's see. And call me Monkey. So lots of wrestling questions. Mm-hmm. Um, if you had to be sting faced by a lady wrestler, who would you pick? I don't know what that means. I that means with their lady parts on with their, their face. ass. Stink oh, face is when that you're in the corner and then they shove their ass in your face. So okay, so then question number two. I don't know any lady wrestlers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would probably pick somebody from Glow. He's, he's Anybody like, from Glow except for those two. Those you two? Know, you know which two I'm talking about. Attila the Hun? Yes. Okay. Matilda the Hun. Matilda the Hun, yes. 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 And the other lady, the Hawaiian lady, who was really nice. Yeah, she was really nice. But I don't uh, want Mount her... Mount Fuji? Butter my... Yeah. Yeah, Mount Fuji. I don't want her butt in my face. Yeah. 
That's right. I, I know Glow Wrestling. <laughs> Dude, if you guys have never seen the Glow documentary on Netflix, it's great. Oh, it's really good. It's I, so good. Uh, it's my also girlfriend's, sad. Yeah, my girlfriend's got it on on DVD. A friend bought it for her for Christmas, and mm-hmm. it's really, really good. Yep. Have you guys ever eaten a hot dog with chocolate pudding on it? Nope. Yes. No. Of course you have, Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> Why, of course you've eaten a hot dog with chocolate pudding on it. Of course I have. I've it's never even had that offered to me, so I... You know, never just go, what's in the fridge, and make a what's in the fridge meal? No. <laughs> no. Because that's usually because my fridge is empty. It's oh. funny, actually, because when <laughs> I first met Kayla, like, I, just because of your mannerisms and stuff, I had assumed that Kayla was, like, a free-range vegan or something like that. <laughs> and we got to talk one day, and she's like, I love chocolate and beef. <laughs> like, I like Three Musketeers bars and steaks. And I was like, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> Because in Austin, when a person like has their own garden and you yeah. know raises their own chickens, you assume that they're crazy hippies. And <laughs> I don't have any problem with crazy hippies. I like a lot of fun crazy hippie right. friends. But you are not a crazy hippie. No, I do love making my own gardens because one, they're beautiful, and two, they're delicious. Like right. I grow my tomatoes next to the basil, mm-hmm. so that the tomatoes taste like basil. What? Just. They are naturally infused. It's called companion gardening. So my vegetables taste better than grocery store gr- vegetables. Oh. Based on how I planted them. Okay. So. Cool. I got a turret now. And then I use, like, flowers that deter pests, so uh. I don't have to use as many pesticides. Oh, nice. Oh, there you go. So it's it's just little tricks that I know that the other guys aren't doing. Have you talked to Allison? She had a garden that got decimated, right, by pests? <laughs> by pests, but that's also because... What she chose, and also it's harder to, she doesn't have a lot of sunlight. Yeah. Okay. And so when she planted it, the tree's leaves hadn't come in. She needs to go. I could I could help her, but she's also exhausted. So. Right. <laughs> oh, I understand. Uh, I understand, too. Let's see. Um, where are you? She's right where, there. Where can you buy Lone Star? At any convenience store in all of Austin. Texas. Or Texas. Somebody, yeah, somebody was saying on the, uh, when I put up my Jeff versus beer thing, and they were like, oh, man, just going to go bankrupt from having to buy all that beer. And I was like, (laughs) well, no, what was funny is someone said that, and then someone else on the YouTube page was like, Jeff, you are friends with Grant. Grant is a beer connoisseur. Yeah. How can he let you drink Lone Star? And I'm like... Dude, Dude, that shit's cheap, and, and it's shit beer for oh, no! of how cheap it is. Well, no, also the thing is that, like, it, it, I don't know you guys out there, but, like, I don't have Kill a... It. Okay, I don't have a shitload of time, like, for other shows and stuff. So, you know, when I said I drank... Uh, oh, no, he's calling for reinforcements. Um, when, I, when I said that I drank five beers in an hour and 15 minutes, like, that, was, that wasn't boastful. Like, I did that because I didn't have time... I had to get some shit done. Uh, and who wants to drink, like, who wants to chug craft beer that quickly? Who wants to go through five really Grant? flavorful beers in, like, you know, I mean, I want beer that has very little taste. There's a reason that most of the alcoholics that I know drink Bud Lights, because you can drink 12 Bud Lights and it doesn't make you want to throw up. Yeah. Well, it does, but not because it's got a rich taste. Perform a takedown. Oh, no, wait. I already... Yeah, it's because you, you, performing a takedown on that just takes over the turret. Okay. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah. Leave. But I've seen Grant, he'll shotgun, like, super rare beers. Yeah. For the, for the beers. Yeah. And, like, in two seconds. It's insane. <laughs> You're like, no. <laughs> yeah. I only... He thinks that's hilarious. And some of these crap beers are, like, 18%. Like... Yeah. It's... It will get you toe up. One ounce. Hold on, I gotta get all these. All you kind of look naked there for a second. Who are we talking about? Your monkey. Monkeys. Okay. No, She's you. She's saying your monkey was hanging out. <laughs> I was like, "What? Who are you talking about?" Hide your shame. Uh, okay. <laughs> Left Should for command. Assassin's Creed just die? No. No, that's. I like Assassin's Creed. Oh, cool! I got my. Uh, oh, your upgrade upgrades. Stuff? Yeah. Have you guys ever gotten your balls stuck in your zippers? No. <sighs> um, I got something down there stuck in a zipper. I don't Here's know the if thing. it was I nuts. wear underwear, and that keeps my, the zipper away from my stuff. Well, you know, every so often you're just going commando because it's Tuesday, and then, like, 
Well, then I don't wear pants with zippers. Well, sometimes. Or I don't wear pants. All you own much is to the uh, chagrin of my neighbors. Pants with zippers. So, uh, health extension. Boom. I'm gonna pick all these upgrades before it's your turn to play, John. So I said toe up. Yeah. And people are like, "What is that?" What do you mean? What is that? <laughs> that's what the <laughs> that's what the chat's asking. <laughs> Tore up. Chat. It's it's it's. it's UrbanDictionary.com <laughs> is a thing. Use it and love it. Uh, fire rate, stun effect, plasma penetration. Stun time, ammo increase. I'll go with ammo increase. I've had just like skin stuck in zippers. Thanks. It's a lot like that, but more painful. Yeah, yeah. I've never, go I've never like, what was it? Just something about Mary, like all the way through. Oh no! N yeah. Never that uh, far. <laughs> Gross! Can't handle it. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> well, it's, I, I, it's no dark hallway, <laughs> Kayla, but it's still pretty horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Better come over here in the d nighttime again. I'm gonna just turn all the lights off and then leave until you leave the house. <laughs> okay. Um, um, let's see. When will new shirts be available for buying? When I think of a new shirt for us to create and make, uh, I've got one idea that I haven't. Uh, uh, you know, it's just extra time to do stuff. I actually been thinking about putting Grant on that. No, he doesn't have to play Hearthstone and be concerned with costumes. <laughs> Get over here. Right. What do you guys think of John dies in at the end, book I love or it. film? I, I love the book and I love the film. And I think uh, given that they didn't do a, a large portion of the book for the film, they could easily do a sequel without having to touch on the second book, the sequel book. I thought the film was awful because people kept telling me how brilliant it was before I went to go see it. And I went, this is a load of uh, garbage. Uh, but I assume that a lot of that was because uh, it was book translation problems. Yeah. Where I didn't know the story, so there were parts that were missing where I was just like, what the fuck is going on here? Because I've listened to Justin Pargin, a.k.a. David Wong, on the Crack Podcast, and that dude is, like, whip smart. Uh, and so I can only assume the book is pretty smart as oh, well. Oh, the book is, book is great. Also, oh, the second book. I I could not handle. I had to stop that movie after 20 minutes. It yeah. was on was Netflix. Was it the door, the doorknob thing? I don't know. I was just like, <sighs> like it was weird, clunky. It was clunky. Okay. Like okay. the whole movie was clunky, and you really have to be in the right mind frame to deal with a clunky movie. But like, it was the same thing that Jeff was experiencing. Everyone's like, and they were like, Kayla, this is a Kayla movie. I'm like. <laughs> I don't think people know what a Kayla movie is. Yeah, <laughs> I think they're just, just flailing around in the dark, <laughs> saying things. Oh my gosh! But oh, someone in the um, chat said they would really like that banana bread shirt, and I said just a picture of a banana bread. Yeah. With the word banana bread under it. Yeah. And yeah. that's what they want. Yeah. It'll sell a million. Some days they say they want that, and then when you put it up, it doesn't sell very Let's well. Let's try. <laughs> I don't know. I have I have an idea. I have a we'll I have an idea. Banana bread decals for your I also car. had suggested a, a picture of a loaf of bread and a banana, and the banana looking very longingly at the bread. <laughs> yep. Yep. That one is one I like better. <laughs> they said Kayla or, doesn't know what a Kayla movie is. Or just banana bread. Kayla with knows a, what a Kayla movie is. She knows what she likes. Giant question mark in the middle of the shirt, and it just says banana bread. <laughs> Oh, Aww, you guys bonding. Oh, it's robot time! Enough bonding. Oh, shit. That robot's got wrecking ball hands. Bow, 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 and bow. wrecking ball feet. And wrecking ball feet and wrecking ball junk. He's got all kinds of... Oh, oh. okay. All right. I'm going to dodge more often. They you probably should. When will they get the end of their Nancy Drew? Who is asking that? They didn't write a name. Yeah. It was in the question form. What the end of Nan I don't understand what that even means. Like, uh, because if it's the from Spill, we put up the second part of Nancy Drew oh, on yeah. Spill, so it's not like that doesn't exist or didn't exist, and I don't have the rights for it. If they're saying they want us to play more Nancy Drew, that means that it's Alex asking, and we're not going to do that, because <laughs> uh, as much as you like watching us do things that we hate, I try to keep the things that we really, really loathe to a minimum. Unless you're drunk. Even then. 
like I could tell because there were some people when I put that up, when I put up me drunk plan, who were like, "Next week you should play something that's really frustrating that you hate a lot." And I'm like, "Well, you no. guys want me to freak out?" And unfortunately, what you don't realize is that bad games don't make me freak out unless I'm like being overly just uh, critical, right? Yeah. I've played a lot of bad games in my life, and so I just go, "Well, this game is terrible, but what can we learn from it?" <laughs> um, oot. Okay. They like that you it? know all the names of the chat people and what they would ask. <laughs> well, yeah. there are certain people that do ask a lot of the same questions. Well, Alex wants us to play like four things, right? And I, I know him. Um, <laughs> hey, what? Oh, okay. They said um, they want the banana bread, but they want it to look like the Resident Evil Six logo. No, I'm not doing that. That's ridiculous. The it, giraffe? Yeah, the, the, the giraffe. giraffe getting a blowjob from a guy. Yeah, uh, it doesn't <laughs> look, like a, look like a guy. But um, can I get her to? Nope. Oh shit! No, here he comes. Ah, but okay. Here, why don't you come at me, bro? Come at me, bro. <laughs> he does do a come, come at, at me, bro. bro. Totally does a come at me, bro. Kind of. Hey, over here. Have you ever gotten some table gun on? Table gum on your hands, like the stuff that's in the un, like at the bottom of the table. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I have to damage him first to make him enraged. Of course. Okay. Yeah. He's enraged. All right, he's enraged. Hey, come at me, bro. Nope. There you go. There you go. One more time. One more time. Um, no, I generally tend to not touch table gum. I probably have before, but it was like. You know, solidified and long after it was. There we go. You know, over here, buddy. Would you eat cow pee pee in soup, like the 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 muscle part? No. Um, my dad did and threw up, and it was a disappointment. Would you do that? Like cow genitals yes. in soup form. Uh huh. Um, mm, I know it's probably a delicacy somewhere. Not for me. If it was prepared correctly. Sure. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I learned long ago that if you just, if you spend your life being afraid of food, then uh, you'll miss out on a whole bunch of shit. So, yeah, I don't care. I gotta try one time. I'll take a bite. See? See? You know. I, I let fear keep me from eating haggis, and I have regretted it most of my life. So, um, I will try not to let fear keep me from eating stuff. Bugs. Genitals, face meat. Uh, I don't care. I'll give it a shot. I mean, I figured that there's got to be a reason that people eat certain things. If something is just universally terrible and also shitty for you at the same time, nobody's going to continue eating it. So there's got to be some merit, except for kimchi. I don't understand why the fuck people eat that shit. It's rotten cabbage. It's rotten cabbage with spices. Isn't that what sauerkraut is? Well, I don't really eat much sauerkraut either. But they don't bury sauerkraut in the ground to let it rot before you eat it. Gross. I don't trust food that has to be buried and then exhumed from its food grave like altered beast before you could put it on things. Okay, so this one says, <laughs> Kayla, read the next question in a funny accent. Okay. And then the next question is, John, thoughts on WWE 2K15's career mode being current gen exclusive? Was that, I have what accent was that supposed <laughs> to be? It was a funny voice, I guess. Okay, all right. That, all right. Was, um, that was my, like... Monster accent? No, it was my, um... You know, the guys who cut wood down. Lumberjack. lumberjack? <laughs> that was my lumberjack. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, I hadn't heard about that, honestly. About it being current-gen exclusive. And, and when, when you say current-gen, are you talking about... New PS4 and Xbox PS4 One. PS4 and Xbox assume. One, if which that's the case. I, I'm... I don't. I have an Xbox One, so I don't care. Um, that would be ridiculous, though. But if it's well, here's the thing: is they originally I had heard that they weren't planning on doing uh, a a, a an Xbox 360 and X, uh, and a PS3 version. Oh, that it was only going to be. For it was only going to be next gen, and it wasn't until the last minute that they changed it. Right. So that that's why I'm like I, okay uh, I, I mean that's part of the reason why I got an Xbox One is because. I knew eventually I was going to have to get one to play that game. Okay. Um, so I don't know. Like I said, I, I, I 
kind of not. I don't know how I feel about that. I hadn't heard about it. Um, that kind of sucks for anyone who's gut, past gut gen. Gut reaction, if it's true. If it's true and it's only like current gen, meaning Xbox One and PS4, mm -hmm. then, you know, it sucks. But here's the thing. The the game, the part of the reason the games look like shit on the Xbox 360 and the PS4 3 mm -hmm. is because that was the what, the max of what they were able to do <laughs> given the technology. Okay. So to get them to do better... That they had to wait for the next gen, and we're if you if anyone's seen the screenshots for them so far, the next gen looks pretty freaking good. Yeah. Um. Now it's just a matter of whether it plays good or not. Okay. But looks I'm good, like I said, I was good. surprised when I saw that there was a PS3 and a Xbox 360 version. Okay. <laughs> How much time we have left until our break time? We're probably we zoning have, in on that. We have eight minutes left. Uh oh. Lightning. Okay. So. Uh -oh. Um, they said, what's a Solid Snake? Solid Snake is the protagonist from Metal Gear Solid franchise. So, what does he sound like? What does Solid Snake sound like? <laughs> they want you to read questions in a Solid Snake voice. Like David Hayter? Um, uh, what, what sound, it sounds like this. He sounds really gruffy. He sounds like this. Okay. Kind of high-pitched. Kind of high-pitched. Uh, and kind of over-exaggerates okay. everything. Okay. And he repeats Have things. Have you ever met someone <laughs> so stupid you did not want to be associated with them? Well, of course. I've worked retail before. <laughs> if you if you have not, I applaud you for leading a charmed life full of fairies and butterflies. <laughs> I I I oh, you, need to, you need to get rid of that guy. Shit. He's gonna call I'm, reinforcements. I know I'm trying, but he's um Yeah, beaten. no, I mean I, I I try to be nice to everybody, and I don't think anyone's stupid, just uninformed, so, you know. What's the difference? Uh, stupid is essentially someone who l knows, the knows like, has the ability to, like, it's, it, they're told something, they're informed, and then they refuse to acknowledge that information. I would call that ignorant. It's Well, ignorance and stupidity are kind of the same thing to me. Okay. Um, and... Uninformed is just someone who they don't know any better. They they didn't know. They weren't told. They, as far as they knew, that, that what they thought was right. Okay. Yeah. It depends on the context. Yeah, that too. Like, if I'm working construction, there are people. I like. I'm like. I can't. I cannot let my life be in your hands. Uh huh. But then, like in day to day world. I'm fine, but if it's like, oh, you're gonna have to sit with this person for three hours and have to have a conversation, mm -hmm. depends if they're hilariously stupid. They're hilariously stupid. Oh my gosh! <laughs> like, so once upon a time, I was in high school, uh -huh. and I was in an astronomy class because I really love that science branch, you know. And so there were girls, of course, who joined the astronomy class thinking that it was astrology ah. and Ooh, that's bad. That they would be learning about Pisces and Aquariuses and all that stuff so they thought that was like <laughs> science <laughs> I don't understand how you make that how you make that I don't understand that anyway. so of course yeah being stuck in this class with them was Terrific. Yeah. Because one, <laughs> it was way more math than they ever thought they'd have to do in their whole lives. Right. Yeah. But like their mind was being blown <laughs> day to day. It was amazing. So like we we were talking about the Earth's magnetic field and the way yeah. it goes around and the intensities based on where it is, you know. And so that was the lesson for the day. And she was like, oh, "So that's why cars stick to the Earth." And everyone turned to her and was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and, and this one guy was like, haven't you ever heard about gravity? Yeah. And she was like, right, but cars are so much heavier that the gravity, it's harder for them to hold on to it. So it needs that magnetic field. And that's why cars How old are was metal. this person? High school junior. So 17? How did they get through middle school? <laughs> How did they get through their freshman Come year? Come here. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Oh, did she get stuck? She's all messed up. Oh. You're going to have to restart the level. Uh, oh, no. Or get yourself checkpoint. Bugs. 
And then, like... That sounds awesome. I want to take that class. I, I want to offer... I want to start a class at uh, Austin Community College. It's like, class with stupid people. <laughs> where you only get to... Like, half the class has to be people who've been tested to make sure that they are ignorant enough to be entertaining to everybody else while you learn stuff. It was the that most fun cool. class because of these girls. So we brought down a map of the, the United States, yeah. you know, and... We were talking about the different areas and where thing, different um, telescopes are mm -hmm. in the United States. And she was like, so the dirt in Texas is red. I've seen that. I didn't know the dirt in Oklahoma was blue. And we're like, it's a political map. It's a political map. <laughs> like, that's not a picture of the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want to take this class so oh, bad. <laughs> I, I may, I may have to rethink my, uh, my uh, stance on a. Uh, it was so much things. fun. I mean, I hate laughing at the expense of people, but it was, it was gems. It was just gems. <laughs> Sounds <All right>. awesome. <laughs> Sounds truly awesome. Uh, oh, and now see. you're about to get the the memory stuff. Oot. And I got a okay. Rump. So we have two more minutes. Okay. Um, I'm told I need to do a French maid accent. So okay. Bonjour. Mm. What do you think of the film The Tree of Life? I didn't watch it. Me either. No, I didn't see The Tree of Life. Suckers. Everybody said it was terrible, so I didn't watch it. <laughs> I was. It looks really long. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, let's see. Um, what would you? Be your adult Great. film star name. My money is on Jeffrey Joystick. Well, it depends. Are we using the traditional, the traditional uh, um, middle name, street name kind of thing? Pet name, street name. Mm -hmm. I heard pet name, street name. I, I haven't heard. About, don't look at me. I don't know. Your first pet's name and your the first street that you lived on is your last yeah. name. And then I'm. Then I'd be Jazz Hollywood. Jazz Hollywood, that's good. <laughs> You're talking to Mr. Truffles Warrington. <laughs> yeah, um, Muppet Kitty Hawk. Okay, that's a good. That's a good porn star name. Yes, Muppet yeah. Kitty Hawk. I yeah. don't know. Your first pet's name was Muppet. Yeah, because it looked like a Muppet. Okay. So that was what I named it. So Grant's in the chat. So is Fungus Monkey. Everyone's having a party. Oh, have a oh, party! Hello, everybody. So Wait, are th we th are that means it's a perfect time for a break. So fungus monkey. <laughs> <laughs> so they can keep the chat entertained while Jeff was goes there, and smokes. Was there not enough for a lightning round this time? What? Do we have, have a question? We've been doing like a 30-minute lightning round. Oh, okay. And okay. by lightning round, we just meant uh, ask questions. Oh, okay. <laughs> and answer them. Okay. Yeah, that's. I was a little confused. I thought lightning round involved yes or no questions at a rapid fire pace. Well, there's not so many like. Yes or no questions, so I just chose the ones with like the shortest answer. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, well, oh. Because there's someone here who's like, how did you get through your 20s? Well, that was a decade. And so. <laughs> Very carefully. <laughs> All I right, lived. well, we, okay, so if it's 4.30, we are going to take a break because I have to turn the air conditioning back on in this room uh, and smoke cigarettes and that sort of thing. But when we come back, John, I'm going to, uh, if you want, I will hand the controls over sure. to you for the second half. Ooh. Uh, so we'll I don't want to be an anhog. Um, so. And why is the chat, like, obsessed with lemon parties? Uh, yesterday on streaming on uh, Sequential Saturday, Jason mentioned Lemon Party, and okay. I said, don't Google it. And then apparently some people saw Lemon Party for the first time. So, oh. okay. uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're newly traumatized. Also, don't go. <laughs> don't search for it. I already told you that yesterday. Don't listen to Jason. Like, listen to me. Uh, okay. All right. Well, we're going to stop here for 15 minutes. We'll be back at 445 uh, and we'll be going until 6 p.m. So stay tuned, and then stay tuned directly after that for the podcast. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Welcome back from break, guys. Party. Yep. Yeah, we're monkey party. Monkey, monkey party. Woo, monkey. It's time for, yes, it's time for part two. We're back. John is at the controls. Uh, he hasn't had all this tutorial, but it seems like you're you're doing pretty well there. <laughs> I know. Uh, do you know how to take out the head to use a stun charge? Uh, I don't. I probably will. Okay. Um, we'll figure it out. All right. Well, welcome back, everybody. I've got uh, access to 
this chat room they thing. Said the breaks are getting long. The breaks are always fifteen minutes. Yeah, we come, we <laughs> break at four thirty and we come back at four forty five. Like, uh, yeah. The bricks have always been the exact same amount of time. In fact, we've cut it down, though. Oh. We used to take two breaks, and now we only take one. Yeah, this is true. This is very, so. very true. Just so, back welcome out. back. We're monkeying around. That's right. In Enslaved Odyssey to the West. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Break the shield first and then destroy the turret. Oh, my gosh. Or that dude or whatever is going on there. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. We are back. So, do you guys want? What do you guys want to talk about? Do you want to talk about video games? Do you want to talk about life, food, entertainment? I'm. I'll leave. You know, Kayla, you do an excellent job oh, as the you. master of of the questions. So, mm -hmm. I'll let you pick. I think you got to distract her okay. and then blow well, blow that motherfucker up. What is the most difficult task in running the website? Um. Hmm. Well, uh, at this point. No, I think you're about to. Oh no, it's her. She's about to. Oh, okay. Um, uh, the most difficult task in running the website is actually probably trying to decide. Um, well, there's a, there's a few things that are really difficult, but probably the the easiest one to relate to is trying every week to come up with the number of games that we have to play, right? Because right. we have two main feature games. We have Indie Friday. We have Sequential Saturday, which is easy because it's always the same thing. Um, no. We also have, um, you know, streaming on Sunday. We've got Patreon videos. We've got the Super Awesome Video Game Show. You know, we've just got a lot of different things that have to get picked out every week. But my hardest thing is probably just um, that I sit around all by myself all the time. So I'll get really offended at stuff, and I have to keep reminding myself not to get offended. Oh. You know, <laughs> psychic, keeping my psychic energy in the right place instead of getting all pissed off and stuff. Um, that's probably my hardest thing. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, also, you know, there's a certain amount of, like, trying to... And, and John, I'm sure that you can relate to this. Kayla, you could probably... <laughs> you may, might be able to relate to this as well. But, like, there's a certain amount of, like, when you're running a website, you want to do things that are going to be popular. But in video games, it's almost impossible to tell what's going to be popular and what's not. Things that I thought were going to be totally unpopular were just the best things we ever did and stuff that I thought were the best things that we ever did. People were just like, eh, whatever, you know, I'll still watch it, but whatever. And meanwhile, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare is like yeah. one of our most popular videos that Grant and I just played this multiplayer plant game, and I don't know what happened. If it just got into the YouTube rotation in the right week or what, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, that's kind of nerve-wracking sometimes because you're just yeah. like, I don't know what's good. <laughs> this is true, you don't. I thought it was good, but like, I thought that Abyss Odyssey was a really fun game that people should Actually, check out. Actually, that was a really fun game. Process. Yeah, it checked us out playing, but then nobody really seemed to give a shit about it. So, Though, at the same time, I, I, I was really happy to, that people seemed to really uh, like uh, Hand of Fate uh, yeah. that we played on uh, the Super Awesome Video Game Show. Yeah. I was really happy that. But can't that you just go up on that other side? Oh, I probably can. Um, yeah, that was that. I mean, that was one that took me by surprise. I didn't even know really what it was. Can you? Yeah, this is a hard down? job. You know, I have to drive up here, get my free cookie, right? And then you get free cookies. I get free cookies. Well, she found out why. I found out why. Oh, <laughs> they're the day olds. They're the ones who get ready to throw away. St those are still good. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. I go. I only eat a week old cookie. I don't care. When we when we were uh, there used to be when I was a kid, we would go to the Mrs. Baird's store here in town. Yes. Uh, and my dad would always buy like the day old stuff that they had or whatever. But he always used to call it used bread. <laughs> He's like, "We're going to the that's, used bread store," and I was like, "Dad, that's, that's gross." Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Yeah, <laughs> and he—I know that he continued to say that because he knew that my sister and I thought it was real gross, and so that's why he would keep calling it that. Oh my gosh! It's funny. I actually, my dad, his he, when I went up to visit him a few weeks ago, he's gone to the local cable access uh, and took their classes, and he's like made his own little show, and he put it up on YouTube, and he he put it up on YouTube, right? It's the show. Like, nobody would ever find it. We had a hard time finding it. We knew the name of it, right? Uh, so he put it on YouTube, and it was funny because we watched it on his on the, the streaming through his, his Blu-ray player and stuff. 
And he was like, wow, look, I got six hits. And I'm like, yeah, Dad, three of those were me and three of those were you. And, he, and then he kept, like, waiting for it to get hits. And I was like, do you want it to get hits? I'll put it up on my website. I'll right. cross-post. I'll do some uh, some mind share with my dad <laughs> here on Rage Select and his crazy-ass beer and uh, Dayton, Ohio history show that he's <laughs> making. <laughs> Oh, they want they want to see this. I know they do. I know they, they do. They are dying. I want to see I this. I know they do. <laughs> I knew the moment that I said it, they probably would. You'll never find it, though. Uh, Why not? Did your dad say don't uh, cross promo where, 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 where am I going? Uh, I'm dying. You're dead. Uh, well, you could get health from her, but I think it'd be easier just to die and start the checkpoint over. Blar, blar, blar. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll ask him. I'll see if he doesn't mind. Because, uh, yeah, they're they're dying. I know they are. I know they are. <laughs> well, well, here's I guess here's the question. Is it good? Like, you watched it. <laughs> would you watch more of it? He's my dad. Of course I'd watch well, it. No, no. If he wasn't your dad, like, can you? If no, no, his dad's awesome. His dad's delightful. If he wasn't my dad, I probably would watch. I don't, I don't know. It's, uh, it's. It's a very specific subject matter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and right. it's, ver it's the very first video that a man that's never done video in his entire life has ever done. So, so okay. genius. Kayla, so you would really like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'll see if he wants, if he wants that. I mean, you know, I've, had, I've actually had friends who have projects that they don't want to see cross-promoted, but uh, we'll see. Maybe. I might, I might put it up one day. I'll ask him, see if he cares. Um. Just tell him he can be internet famous. He can be internet famous, Dad. And he, everyone wants to be internet famous, right? I guess that's why I mean, we do this, right? It's it's funny because am I the only one? When I was up there, he was like, you know, he he's like, I'm retired. I need well, stuff to do, so I decided to go learn how to do video production. And I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Like you just, he doesn't want to be bored and old, so he's like, all right, I'm gonna go teach myself how to do this and then just make my own low budget TV show because I'm I'm retired and I can I have a lot of time on my hands Sounds to like do stuff. That's I would do. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. He said it was kind of between that and learning how to play an instrument. He decided that he'd rather learn how to make his, his own TV shows than learn how to play an instrument. So Wow. Yeah. But then, you know, my dad went to get his degree in business because he wanted to know more about what happened in the financial collapse of a few years ago. <laughs> so he went to college for four years to get his degree in business and economics so that he could understand that better. Oh, my gosh. That's insane. Whoa. So one of my friends mm -hmm. was, like, a finance major, like, during the recession. Mm -hmm. And he, go, he said, like, all of a sudden, like, 2008, yeah. all his professors... Just started going. Um, we used to teach this. Now we don't know. <laughs> right. Like, it was all of a sudden his degree was just question marks. <laughs> like all his professors were like, "Well, we used to teach that this was pretty solid economic theory." Oh. <laughs> and, <laughs> and now, now maybe we not. We don't know. Less so. so you're gonna okay. get. You're gonna get your degree in question marks. Like. <laughs> All right. I want a degree in question marks. <laughs> that sounds like some Night Vale shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> the unknowable degree. Um, I'm gonna. I gotta look at this chat. It's hard to look at a chat on an iPad. Can you? Um, why oh doesn't crap. your dad learn martial arts? Uh, that's a good question. That's a. I don't know. Jeff's dad versus game. Yeah, that's a, yeah. that's the new one. <laughs> that's the new show on Rage Life is my dad plays video games. They they would love that. I know. I know they it's absolutely even would. Even in the forum. Yep. Um <coughs> Your dad Where are I think we going he here? it would be really cool if he went and learned the history of the video game. And then was like, here's a history level about this video. You know, it's when like the, when he came into town, uh, when he came into town on Christmas, right? Right. Um, I really wanted to show him Bioshock Infinite. Mm -hmm. So like I loaded it up, and what he likes to do is he likes to sit on the couch and drink because he's he's a he's kind of a beerist, right? He like right. he loves craft beer. Like if he goes to a new town, he always tries to find like the local. Can you not jump up to the next thing on the... Well, I think I need to, to get her over there. How do you want to do the distraction thing? There we go. Um, whoa. Um, so he'll go to, like, all the microbreweries and stuff like that that, he's, that are in town. Um, 
So he just likes to sit on the couch and drink his beer and then watch me play video games because, you know, if you don't play video games, playing video games is kind of intimidating. Um, or it can be very intimidating. Ow, dude. Ow, ow, ow. Um, but yeah. And then he just wanted to, he wanted to me to tell him what was going to happen in Bioshock Infinite. And I was like, Dad, no. Just play the game for yourself. You going to come over here, lady? Why don't you just pick her up? Just pick her up and run. B button. That way you don't have to get shot. Um, <clears throat> Let's see. Yep. All right. They're ready for your dad. That's yeah, right. That, your dad's going to be a star. That's right. Is my dad Wilford Brimley? No, he can say the word diabetes. Diabetes. Di not diabetes. Um, let's, let's see. see here. Are, you guys, are you afraid girls you meet or guys? Here. Wait. <laughs> Are you afraid of girls you meet or said. guys? That's what it says. And then I see that they wrote it again underneath it. They it just says, said, Are you afraid of girls you meet or guys? And then they, they to, to clarify, they wrote it more elaborative. Okay. And they go, Are you afraid girls you meet or guys will view your site and not like you for all the penis jokes? There you go. I'm not really afraid of... I mean, I've we, I've I'm starting to get to the point where I don't really care what people think about the website. Uh, or I mean, like I, I care about what our fans think, but it's not like I care about, um, about the specific things of yeah. like a new person that I meet. Did someone yeah. just show yeah. up? Grant is here. Okay. <laughs> Grant is here. <laughs> Lawyers. <laughs> I don't know who all knows where I live. <laughs> hey, Grant. How's it hey, going? Hey, Grant. Do you want to, uh, let's see, I don't, I've, all of our microphones are, are, are he, occupado he at the moment. He just to cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> He's just here to hang out. <laughs> you were like watching the stream and you're like, I need to see what this looks like in person. <laughs> <laughs> this game. Um, They're very excited that you're here. Yeah. Like just your presence alone. Yeah. And ba like turn the, the chat room into all cap city. Yeah, Grant. It just says, yeah, Grant. <laughs> that Grant is here to sleep. <laughs> that's what we're, that's the new show on the on Rage Select is going to be is my dad and Grant's daughter together <laughs> yeah. doing a, a show about video games. Really? <laughs> I was about to give you my mic, and then they said, "Kayla, don't give Grant the mic, your mic." So I'm sorry. Aww. We can share. Okay, I see what I'm supposed to do now. Yeah. You make wiki wiki noises. Hello. Uh, let's see. So, um. Do you guys like cheeseburgers or tacos better? That's a hard question. That's Ooh, probably I'm, I'm a cheeseburger kind of guy. Cheeseburger. So. I yeah. love tacos, but if only if I had to cut one out forever, it would probably have to be um, tacos. I love I love tacos. Like that's the hardest thing about traveling is, is that there's no Tex-Mex style tacos. Oh. Oh my gosh, they're so delicious. I, I totally OD'd before I left on my trip, and the first thing I got when I got back was, like, tacos. Was tacos. In my mouth. I had uh, the – do you want to weigh in on tacos, Grant? Um, when I lived in Seattle, and they had no idea what breakfast tacos were. Shit. And you know that you're in a place where they don't have any actual clue what breakfast tacos are because they call them breakfast burritos. And oh. you're just like, no, that's a different thing. Uh, what? Grant, do you have your dance pants on? He says he has swim trunks. Sorry, guys. Because they were like, what's Grant's wearing? Everyone always wants to know what Grant is wearing. So since <laughs> people keep asking us, Grant, for the Grant cam. And um, I, I keep trying to tell them that, like, the Grant cam doesn't really work if it's just you playing a video game. Because <laughs> it's, it's just a camera pointed at the screen <laughs> where you're playing the video game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that would work. Then we would have a good reason for the head turning, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sticking in GoPro footage to this. Do you guys play Newgrounds games, and what's your favorite? No. I have not been to Newgrounds since, like, late 90s. So uh, is your dad show called 100 Bottles? Holy shit. What? <laughs> Who said that? The, like, the chat. Who said that? Uh, JDS3K. You guys are wizards. 
You guys are goddamn wizards, man. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. My Demon dad's gonna, spawned from hell. My dad's going to be so... He's going to be like, what happened here? You guys be nice in the comments, all right, or else I will come in there. I will teach my dad to use the ban hammer and turn off comments and ratings. His his dad... My dad made a public it. access show, and, and they the, found a YouTube, it. A uh, YouTube thing he about... He made a YouTube show, essentially. About beer and the history. Yeah. Beer <laughs> and Ohio. Yeah. And so they're like... Oh my god! They're like, we want to see this show. <laughs> I knew I should. And then, said like, he anything. was like, he's like, yeah, I'll see if you want. You know, it's on YouTube, but it's really hard to find, and we'll see. Well, and it's then, only had three views, <laughs> and then everyone <laughs> found it, right? <laughs> yeah, no, but see, I mean, we were looking for it. It was still hard to find. Um, yeah, that is insane, though. <laughs> you guys are it's so fast. Up. You guys are messed up and crazy. <laughs> Oh man! Um, so yeah, explosion <laughs> of views, that's, all twelve. That's right. <laughs> Share it with your mom. Oh, <laughs> that's so. The internet is such a bizarre place. I so really want to know how that person. Do you guys like that. the new Halo game? What new the, Halo the game? The new Halo I game. The I don't know. Spartan Assault? Not really. I'm not. I'm playing a game what, what Bioshock is from how many thousands of Andy Circus Yeah. <laughs> this is enslaved Odyssey to the West. Where Andy Circus plays Monkey. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And his voice. Yep. And he's Dragon Ball Z. Yep. Yeah. He's very gruff. I'm gonna die here. His okay. his hair looks like a hop cone. <laughs> <laughs> and he's wearing this helmet thing, and if he gets too far from his lady then his, he dies. His brain explodes. Because sh she's like, give me to safety. You're so big and strong. Yeah, Your she muscles. because he's so, so powerful, whatever, she basically puts this control collar on him or control helmet that makes him do whatever she says that if she basically so that he'll protect her. Yeah. While she is trying to get through this area. Yep. We haven't had a part with the cloud yet, right? Uh, he hasn't activated the cloud yet. No, I don't okay. think so. Enslaved, Enslaved, Odyssey to the West. It's loosely based <laughs> on the uh, Journey to the West story. I want to. I want to have control of the subtitles for this stream. Grant makes jerk off motion. <laughs> 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 That's what we do. We don't. We don't need Grant Cam. We need Grant like subtitles. We need somebody to sit around, watch Grant, and then just like transpose the things that he's doing as subtitles <laughs> um, onto the video. Oh my gosh. Do, 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 do. Oh my god. she down there? Oh, she already got down there. <laughs> I feel like I need to text message my dad. Yeah. <laughs> Don't yeah. freak out over the fact that you may have just become popular. Hey, uh, sorry about this, but <laughs> I don't know how they did it. So, how Stunning. do you All the search feel yes. about me like skipping questions that I know we talked about maybe two weeks ago? Um. Uh, see, I've okay. I've had. I'm of two minds about it. Right. Okay. Number one, I don't like to just repeat what we've said over and over again. But then I've started to learn that um, uh, there are a lot of people who don't catch every show on Rage Select. It's right. so, like we'll get a lot of repeat questions in the in the um, in the email show, right? And I used to avoid them, uh, but now I've started thinking. Well, we should probably just answer them again because it's even possible that some of the podcast where we answer those questions aren't even available to the public anymore okay um so yeah i mean it's a, it's a good question how do you what books or comic books do you want to see made into movies oh uh <laughs> i'm like i feel like we've answered that nine times yeah <laughs> that's maybe one grant we got i, I want to see why the last man uh-huh i but uh as a tv series i think it'd be even better. yeah I guardians of that. the galaxy i think that would make a really good movie I think it would be really a fantastic Guardians movie. Of, that's interesting. Have you heard of like Winter Soldier? That's yeah, the, 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 that that would be a great one. Or uh, yeah, like that. Batman Year One or No Man's Land. Those or, would probably both make good. Or that other one that was recently turned into a movie. They should do that. Yeah, they should do that thing they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, that one as well. That Thor. What about like Judge Dredd with like uh, the, the Sylvester Stallone? What I was about thinking that'd be really cool? No, I, I think no, Judge I Dredd think with the guy who was the Rob doctor Schneider. in Star Trek. I think that would be. <laughs> oh well, if it had Rob Schneider in it, then obviously it would be great. But yeah, anything with Rob Schneider, man. I would really, really like it if Transmetropolitan was a, an HBO television show where they had the money to actually make it 
like, you know, if it was like almost human, but more so with really good special effects and such, um, I would really, really love Transmetropolitan because it's my favorite comic book. As long as it was written by the right people and not just some throwaway, it's on the WB. Well, what do you, like, John, what do you think about Saga? Do you think that one would translate? Uh, into a movie? Sure. TV, maybe. TV series, as long as it was, like, Showtime or something. Yeah. Because there'd be the some adult. boobies and sex and... You need booby sex? Booby yeah. sex. Booby sex. Yeah. Some little TFing? Yeah, yeah. Mike maybe you, Showtime or I'm HBO. Mike in your mouth. Oh. <laughs> TFing directly into the mic, he said. Yes. Here's the mic back. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't Bond. trying to make you not have the mic anymore, Grant. So the chat room is like, ooh, chair's going to be in trouble. That's not really true. And Why so would they're like, in trouble? Do, yeah, giving your dad <laughs> some more popularities. Well, so you know. How will you be grounded? How will I be grounded? What would your dad do to ground you? I'm ungroundable. I can't be grounded anymore. Have you ever been grounded before? Oh, well, sure. Oh, I died. Well, uh, for small periods of time. Would you get a spanking? No. No? No. My, my, the last time my dad spanked me was when I was 13. I was I very vividly. Very afraid of my parents when I was a kid, so I tried to do good stuff. Fan art of Jeff being spanked by his dad. There why you would you do? Why do you do these things? Why do you do these things? That is your your, your goal for this week. Why do you do these things to me? I didn't do anything to you. I was accommodating, <laughs> and I let I said, Grant, it's lovely to see you today, and you're like, my what a right. wonderful tea party. <laughs> yep. Do you have to enrage him and make him hit a thing like he did last time, or maybe? Um, I just don't know what I'm supposed to have him run into. Go in there, maybe. Maybe no. Okay. Oh my gosh! Yeah, they they're super into the spanking. I don't know why. It's uh, if it's if it's embarrassing and humiliating, they're into it. <laughs> yeah, that's what the the rule is. Grant, what? what are you gonna do when your little baby Snuffleupagus is big enough to be grounded? <laughs> She's never gonna be in trouble if she does something wrong. The rest of the society is just gonna have to adapt because that's now right. Okay, so She's taunt him. Whoa! Oh All my right. goodness. Grab him after. Oh, to perform a takedown. Okay, there you're, you go. You're there we go. Able to turn. But, but. Yeah, oh, now you get to everything. you get to drive him. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Or or not. Or <laughs> maybe Boom. if there were still other dudes out, you could drive him. Okay. Fuck cool. this shit up. Yeah. Like monkey, 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 bitch. So he's got a very long torso. Well, yeah, it's like yeah, Michael. Yeah, yeah Phelps-ish. Fred Phelps-ish. <laughs> you know, you're messing up your your names there, Chad. <laughs> yeah, the what? <laughs> uh, okay. How how long is this game? It's like eight hours, right? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's between a six decent, and eight hours. It's a decent amount of time. Yeah, yeah this reminds me of like Uncharted, but with less shooting. Wherefore art thou? Chapter four. So what Wherefore else? Wherefore art thou? Um, what else did you? Uh, sorry. Uh, what else good did you do on your trip, Kayla? A million things. Okay, name one. Um, so. We were talking downstairs about how I went to, I stayed five days in Rocky Mountain National Park where it was nice and cool with yeah. highs in the 70s. Oh. So we went on like, like hikes and things like that, except I'm not, so I'm built like, I don't know, more hobbity than the rest of my family. The rest of my family is like ballerina people and tall, skinny, athletic people. Uh -huh. And I'm kind of like... Oh my goodness! I will eat nine ice creams. Right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I all right. This train of thought, I can see it. And so, <laughs> this mental image of the <laughs> Krober family sitting around, all graceful, drinking tea, and then there in the corner is Kayla, just <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> so yeah, like they would go. 
like zip lining in the morning. They wake up at seven thirty and go whitewater rafting. I'd be like, okay, see you guys later. Whitewater I'll rafting. Show the shop. What, that is, <laughs> it's super fun. Whitewater rafting. It's like really, really fun. Oh, and yeah, it's super athletic. You're lucky. My parents, all they wanted, to, like, there was one year where they were like, we're going to this old house. I'm like, what's in it? Antiques. Like, why is that fun? <laughs> like, uh, and you know, it pissed me off because uh, it, they had HDTV and it was the first time I had ever been in a place that had ready access to HDTV. So I was just watching all this shit in HD for the first time in my life. And they were like, we're going to this house. And I was like, yeah, but. Return of the King is on when you're going to this house in HD, and I've never seen it in HD before. <laughs> they're like, no, it'll be fun. We're family togetherness. And it was like, oh, so you just go to this place and then look at old furniture. Damn it. <laughs> I wish I'd watched Return of the King. So, yeah, I mean, but why granted, want I don't want to spend like $100 to go on a raft Yeah. for four hours. It's pretty so. exciting four hours. And someone did pay for me to go on a horse. There I rode go. a horse. I was like, I'm not going to ride a horse for $40. They're like, we'll pay for it. I'm like, okay. Riding a horse can be very boring. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you're on a, like a, riding a horse with a bunch of other people and there's horses in front of you and then one of the horses poops. <laughs> oh my while gosh. You're the walking. horse in front of me was <laughs> farting the yeah, whole time. It's not it was very hilarious. <laughs> I was cracking up. I was, <laughs> I was just like, what? And then, so one, it was extra hilarious because I was with like, a, a six-year-old, mm -hmm. an eight-year-old, and a nine-year-old, mm -hmm. all boys, and then, like, a seven-year-old girl. Mm -hmm. And the boys were, like, totally into watching the pee-pees of the horses come out when it tingles. That's and weird. it was hilarious. They're like, look how big that penis is. Like, they were <laughs> like, oh, my God. They'd never seen anything like that. It was so funny. And, like, they are just like, what? And then we go on the ride, and I'm, like, behind this fart horse. It was just <laughs> hilarious. Right. And <coughs> as, as we get to the oh. end of the trip, there's, like, a a stage for you to dismount. Uh -huh. And I've ridden horses every few years. I go ride horses at my aunt's ranch. So I've, I'm pretty accustomed to it. One of the uncle cousins. I'm not sure who people, how people are related to me. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Unless there's some weird shit going down. Uncle cousin isn't a thing that you hear very often. <laughs> there you go. You, know, you, you just know that someone is older and related to you. Right. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, my gosh. He didn't dismount, right? Yeah. He fell off the horse with uh -huh. his but still in the stirrup. Oh, no. A big pile of poop. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then, oh, and then the horse, like, was dragging him, and they're like, let go of the reins. He let go of it, and the horse, like, runs. And we're like, what was that? Yeah. It was crazy. I'd never seen anything like that. Because, like, these horses don't run. Yeah. They're just trail horses, so they're pretty slow. But, yeah. Look, the boogeyman owns a ranch. We can have great select horseback riding. Uh, that would um, be like, what? What's a um a video game with horses? Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption. We'll do that. <laughs> My Little Pony. I'm sure there is a My Little Pony game that has horses in it. There's a Barbie's Horse Adventure. Yes, Barbie's Magical Horse Adventure. <laughs> yes, <laughs> this is also very true. Um. Sorry, I'm yeah, they're, they're like mesmerized. Kayla, they're like, Kayla always finds herself in the danger zone. That's, always. That's right. Constantly. Well, you know. That's you don't have anything to actually hurt him with. Yeah, that's the problem. But it'll get a, it'll get me to be able to stop them. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are the good oh, yeah. horses? Uh, Shadow of the Colossus has a horse in it. Yeah, Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda, yep. <coughs> Little girl rides a horse through the desert. Um... Skyrim has a horse. Skyrim has lots of horses. See? We're just going to be having so much fun. Sorry, Boogeyman. No, this is a company... I'm sorry, I'm answering Grant here. This is a company called Ninja Theory. They made Heavenly Sword, and they made uh, like DMC, the new Devil, Devil May Cry. Cry. Yeah. yeah, there was a lot of comparison to it with the, with the, uh, the, the traversal. What's that? What's that? 
Oh, oh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Grant was saying that it seems a lot like Uncharted, and that's why I was saying all that stuff. Yeah, some people actually brought that up earlier in the chat. Wow, my brains. I mean, Andy Circus. <laughs> That's so weird. What's funny is I don't remember them all being Andy Serkis the last when I last played this. Yeah, just pictures of Andy Serkis' daily life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here he is eating ribs. <laughs> and here he is fixing a toilet. Is that Sims? Who? What? Isn't that Sims, uh, basically? Like, the, every day? Oh, yeah, everyday life. What? Man, Kayla, The Sims 4 is getting ready to come out. I don't, I'm wondering how big it's going to be. I think it's going to be. I mean, apparently a lot of people are saying that it's it's doing some really interesting stuff. Though it does fall into the same, uh, you know, that as soon as you stop goofing around with it and actually like purposely trying to manipulate your sim, yeah, that it does fall into that. Okay, this game is actually boring now. Yeah. Um, but that when you know messing like you can actually drive oh. a sim insane. Uh huh. Oh, shit. So, just so you know, the fans have said that your dad's thing is more than 301 oh. views. God damn it, you guys. <laughs> that, well, yeah, that means that it's, that means that it's hit the, the threshold yeah. in a short period of time of people watching it. Uh, so it can't count anymore. It'll be tomorrow before it gets like an accurate count for what the actual views are. Uh, are you doing X and A, I believe, yeah. is the power attack? Okay. Um, There you go, Jeff. There you go. Just for you. Thank you. Um, yeah. What's com what comes out next week? Uh, Reaper next of week? Souls? No, Dark that's Diablo? the week after. Uh, oh, Risen 3 is next week. Risen 3 and... Uh, I'm trying to decide whether... Uh, oh, and Ho-Hokum. Ho-Hokum and Risen 3 are the I have no idea what Ho-Hokum is. It's a crazy indie game. I think Grant and I are going to play it because we've been on a, an indie game roll recently. Which I was just making Grant play crappy RPGs, and Risen 3, by all accounts, is probably a crappy RPG. So we're going to play the weirdo Sorry, Grant. art game, and I'm going to play the crappy RPG with somebody else. Risen 2 was terrible. Yeah. God damn, that game was terrible. Yeah, I remember that game being very bad. On the other hand, I've, I'm almost, I'm about 56% if the, if the slider is to be, or the number is to be uh, believed through Unepic, and I'm really enjoying it. I think it might just be because I want a Metroidvania game really, really badly, and it's kind of an okay Metroidvania game, but I really enjoy that game. Yeah, and Epic's actually not that bad. They can't wait for the Hello Kitty game. They are so excited. Is there a Hello Kitty game coming out? By them, do you mean you? Chat rooms. Okay. No, is, is there a Hello, Hello Kitty Island Adventure? That's the game that Butters plays <laughs> in the South Park when they're trying to play... What is it? Uh, was it a part of World of Warcraft? They said it comes out in September. That's not... No. Really? Metro Redux comes out in two weeks. Yep. Yeah, Metro Redo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Redux. I'm trying to decide whether we should even be playing um, Diablo yet again. I don't know. Maybe I can get... Maybe I can figure out a way to get... Um, are you leaving? Oh, okay. Uh, the drink. Maybe I can figure out a way to get Jason and Allison... Because they play Diablo all the time, play multi. I want to. You can't do cross multiplayer, can you? No. You can do cross save. Yeah, you can do the cross save. Whoa, that is a big robot. So, they're really interested in our opinions about llamas. About llamas? Llamas? Yeah. They How spit. Do you, I, no, I don't think so. Um, I think that's a camel. That might be a camel thing. I think llamas are very sweet if they're raised by sweet people. Yeah. I think, uh, but if they're hungry, they'll bite you. I've, I've been bitten by a llama. Okay, let's see. With There's their gnarly teeth, and their gnarly teeth come at you. and like, blah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I can't uh, handle it. Let's see. I like the demon llama. I like the llama face. You like the... Uh, I like um, Lisa, come get some ham. Was it Lisa the name of the llama in uh, Napoleon Dynamite that he was feeding the ham to? Tina. 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 It was Tina. Eat your ham. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I, I think llamas are cool. I like the fact that they've got like weird, they can have no, like doing? the what hair doing over their eyes and this weird kind of just, they look like, uh, like fuck off Hot Topic stoners kind of <laughs> in a way. <laughs> Talking about llamas. Llamas. Yep. Grant's soon going to have to read the Mama Llama books. Grant, are you uh, are you 
Are you going to let your kid watch all the Disney stuff? Subliminal Disney messages and stuff? No? No Disney? No Disney at all? Uh, of, of course. course. <laughs> <laughs> Disney Channel all the time. They said Hello Kitty has an MMORPG. I'm sure it does. Yeah, that's that came out like two or three years ago, didn't it? The Hello Kitty MMO? Yeah. Minimal. <laughs> Minimal or <laughs> There's a deer. Get the deer. Eat it. Ah, controller angles change on you. Um, that's, that's, I mean, you know, there is no shortage of really shitty games out there that we could be playing. But I kind of try not to do that to my co-hosts, if at all possible. <laughs> like, hey, Grant, you want to play another crappy game this week? <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes that's what's out. I mean, like last week we played Sacred 3, which wasn't really as bad <laughs> as we made out on the show. Uh, of course, I haven't gone back to play it yet. It's just very generic. Man, that robot really has a mat on for you. <coughs> well, he likes the taste of human flesh. Oh, it's this okay. area. Was he made with, like, AI taste buds? Yep. He's like, no, no. Let's see. How about a question? Okay. Do you like games made after shows? And do you like Legend of Korra? One question. No periods. Uh, that probably has to be... Well, you can't climb until you put oh. her down. Um, about the fact that there is a Legend of Korra game that is being created by Platinum Games um, that I watched, uh, I watched a trailer for it. Um, it seems like it could be... Okay, Platinum Games generally doesn't tend to make crap-ass games. Um, most games based on a TV show are just complete and total garbage. Most licensed games, period, yeah. are completely garbage. Yep. But every now and then you do get the exception to the rule. Is your dad's name Nick? Yes. Does he have a website called NickSchusler.com? People <laughs> need to stop. You guys need to stop, stop. I won't have to edit stuff. Yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes. This is... How... How do you all know this? this like, it's called Google, well, Jeff. Well, I, I'm, I'm sh he made me show him how to put his website into the comments of his YouTube video. So, okay. you know, like, uh, that's not really just a super big stretch, but... It's also called Google. Yeah. Well, you kind of have to know how to spell my last name in order to, to Google it properly, but... <coughs> So there was a thing on Reddit this morning uh, that was, oh my gosh, I can't even remember it properly. It was about this guy writing a word so wrong mm -hmm. in in his Ask Reddit thing. And then they were like, wow, that's the most, you wrote that word so wrong that it's only been written that way three times in a <laughs> Google search. And he was like, <laughs> and then he looked and he goes, yep. All three of those are me. <laughs> like different <laughs> situations. <laughs> Do you guys believe? Uh, okay, so here's a question. Do y'all believe that the the Burger King pie buying out buyout story? Yes. You believe that? Yeah. I don't believe it. I would do it. I don't. I don't believe. I don't believe that it actually happened. I believe that it was like. I don't believe that you can buy all the pies from a Burger King because they've got a cooler where they can make like a whole bunch more. Um, no, no, no. Th those are pre-made, but they get them pre-made. I still don't believe it. I believe it. No, I don't believe it. I think it's nerd fantasy. Like it's some guy who was in line, and some kid was screaming about pies, and he went home and wrote himself, "Dear Penthouse, I never thought it would happen to me, but I bought all the pies to fuck that kid over." Also, that dude's a douchebag. Really? What? Yeah. I'm with Grant. Grant said F that kid, but I, not like in the sexy way. I, I read a nice article about that that's like, <laughs> if, he, if that guy had turned Grant around. doesn't think that way either. <laughs> if, uh, if that guy had turned around and, and been shitty to the mom, that's one thing. But children are children. Uh -huh. They're children, man. Like, if you have a crappy kid, there's one person to blame for that, and it's not a kid. Like, kids will just do crappy shit. I know. I think he was punishing the mom by letting that kid have an extra change room. There's yeah. Well, yeah. maybe so. I still don't think it actually happened, though. Uh -huh. Kind of a picture it didn't happen kind of guy. 
show me a picture of 23 uh, d uh, Burger King pies in a bag with today's newspaper. Like, like you're holding them hostage or something. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Give me all of your Reddit up votes or the pies. Get it. One time we bought all the cookies from a Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Yeah. Did but not to, not to be mean to children. Like, just because we... Mean had to adults. Yeah. <laughs> Suckers. And we were like, sorry, there's no more cookies for an hour. You know, it's been a while, but God damn, do I hate Chick-fil-A. Their, their food is garbage and overpriced, and I know that everybody loves them because they've got drugs or mind control in their chicken, but, like, it's kind of just chicken. How do you get to the upgrade menu? They, they do. Uh, um, the left trigger, left bumper, uh, bring up <laughs> her, the X, the oh, yeah. thing down at the bottom. There we go. Personally, I just like their homophobia. Do you? That's what you're into? Grants into the homophobia <laughs> part of it? You always sink your teeth into it. I they when I worked at Dell they used to make us work mandatory like lunch overtime from mm -hmm. time to time, and a lot of times they would bring in food, but they didn't understand um, humans, because uh, I mean like one day they they ordered a whole bunch of pepperoni rolls from um, uh, uh, Doc no, Double Dave's Double Dave's yes, um, and they were like well each Yum. person can have four pizza rolls and I'm like this isn't a lunch. This is snack garbage. What the fuck are you? Yeah. Four pizza rolls. So I used to know a guy who worked at Double Dave's, and he would make me peanut butter jelly pizza rolls. It was so good. Uh, so good. Some days they would bring in they would bring in Chick Fil A, and it would be like you get one Chick Fil A sandwich, and it's mandatory you work for half of your lunch. You get a thirty minute lunch, but we don't worry. We bought you lunch. Here is one small Chick Fil A sandwich that has pickles on it. Even though you don't like fucking pickles. On your sandwich. It's okay. Arr. It's okay, Jeff. You can ask them for no pickles. No, you, I couldn't when I worked there because they just um, they yeah. But then it's got pickle juice because it's been sitting in a bag with a hundred other sandwiches that have. But I don't want the. Uh, it's want, okay, Jeff. It's okay. I know I don't work there anymore, but it was just bullshit. Like, hey, guess what? You get to only. Uh, we're looking for volunteers who want to do a thirty-minute lunch. Well, I don't want to do that. Okay, we didn't get enough volunteers, so now guess what? You have to. See, now you guys are Patreon, so that Jeff never has to eat a Chick-fil-A sandwich again. Never uh, has to eat a Chick-fil-A no. sandwich they ever again our school, and I'm is like, an entire free life. food, free chickens. I'll eat a free chicken. I don't. And they bring the cow to our school and everything. It's awesome. Yeah, I don't. I don't. But how much money is to get you to eat a Chick-fil-A sandwich again? If you bought me one, I'd probably eat it if I was hungry. But yeah. I don't understand why people voluntarily go there and talk about it like it's a really good meal or like food that you would ever choose to get of your own volition because it's just overpriced garbage. And I remember that I didn't necessarily feel as vehement about this until the whole Chick-fil-A thing, the, their, their whole the gay protest stuff yeah, happened, yeah, yeah. right? And I was on another podcast, and I was said, I don't like Chick-fil-A. And the host of that podcast said, "Quit lying." Yes, you do. And, and then, like, told me that I like Chick Fil A. A lot of your opinions, like other people, are like, no, this is fact. Everyone has to love it, right? And I was just like, well, but I don't. And they're like, everybody likes Chick Fil A. Quit trying to be contrary. And I actually don't. I think really they care for Chick Fil A. I think they're okay. I like their waffle fries. That's about it. I just there's when people those big platters of chicken. I'm like, those are all right because yeah. I can just smother them in sauce. I'd rather go to KFC, quite frankly. I mean. Yeah. I Just so you can have salt, like yeah, crusty salt with maybe a little bit of fake chicken inside. Yeah, I'd rather get a sadness bowl than one of those teeny tiny ass oh little. My, it's not a sadness sandwiches. bowl. That's a heaven bowl. <laughs> oh my god, the KFC bowl. It's like, hey, we're gonna take every salty, disgusting thing we have, throw it in one bowl, and you're gonna think it's amazing. And I agree. I've never actually had one because it just uh, seems like the one step closer to just putting all of your food in a trough and then shoving your face into I've had, it. I've had, I've had, I've had two in one meal once. You eat two sadness two back bowls. To back. No, they're back not called sadness. Okay, maybe you can call them sadness bowls. <laughs> I was crying at the time. <laughs> it's a lot of emotions. Okay. Um, yeah, never had them. Never had them. Metal Virgin's like, oh, Kayla sounds like Grant now. <laughs> oh, Amanda's in the, in the chat. Yeah, she is. Mm -hmm. Hi. Everyone wants a sadness bowl now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Grant. Yes. Yeah. I know. 
That's what I'm going to start getting Thanks, marketing Jeff. for Rage Select where uh, companies pay me to say how much I don't like their shit. Because <laughs> everybody hates Jeff. You can be like, you know, you guys, when I want a new car, the last thing I'm going to buy is a shitty Ford. <laughs> and then fuck people them. go buy Ford. <laughs> yeah, Ford stock goes up a million percent. <laughs> you know, folks. When I want to play a video game, there's only one console that I choose, and it's the 3DS. 3DS sales plummet. Nintendo goes out of business. I, why would you want that? Nintendo makes some good stuff. Well, I got paid by Sony and Microsoft. Oh, okay. That was the point of the joke. Okay. Oh, okay. Was if they pay me to talk good about things, and then people stop. I see. Yeah. I see. I misunderstood. I'm a terrible person. Go monkey. I mean, this might give me my Halloween costume. I just have to lose about 75 pounds and get several get of, steel. of my internal organs removed. So, I was thinking about this earlier because I saw another interesting thing on Reddit. I guess Kayla and I are just trolling the Reddit forums a lot. Yeah. Um, but they, they have this system at Reddit where you can give gold to people that like gave good comments. Yeah. And someone was proposing you should be able to also give coal to someone who did that gave a bad comment. Like, that's a punishment. Yeah. And... I mean, when we kind of we look for like listener support, and we offer like some sort of incentive for people to give stuff. Uh -huh. Do you find that people are more interested in in donating money for positive causes or for negative causes? Well, we've never done like a fundraiser for a negative cause before. We've never done a like, hey, we're gonna we need to go beat up those guys. So let give us some money so we could buy like bats and knives and guns and stuff. No, it was like. Oh well, you know, um, I I generally don't like to focus on on that. Uh, Grant was asking about like having uh, like on a live stream, like uh, we did like the embarrassing stories for fifty dollars. We did do that. We did do that. <laughs> but I, I feel a lot of times, uh, what what worked better? Uh, what worked better? Grant singing or dancing? Whoa, Andy time. Circus. Um, Andy Circus stupid, watching stupid, plays. Stupid pet tricks. I think that <laughs> I think that people. I think it's more. Uh, I think that people get more of a sense of. <laughs> I think people get more of a sense of um, community working towards a goal than they do uh, working towards a long-term goal than they do get working towards a short-term, like, I'm going to put my hand in this cow butt or whatever it is that's going to happen. Like, <laughs> I'll freebase some of this cheddar cheese if you guys give me $20. Because uh, invariably, it just keeps having to become more and more and more, right? Like, you have to start with stuff that really anybody would do for almost zero amount of money. Um, oh, he's so cute. Nom, nom, nom. The robot monster? Yeah. Kayla, you need a new feature on this website where you're just like, <laughs> world's cutest killing machines. <laughs> <laughs> this I, week, robots. We're, we're like BuzzFeed, but it's just us. <laughs> yeah. Kayla's top five cutest AI. Right. Tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. Man, does anybody like click hole? Click hole? Click holes. You guys not no. You, Grant doesn't. Grant's shaking his head. He doesn't like it. I don't like him either. They, I keep getting stories like it's BuzzFeed, and then it turns out it's just a giant joke that goes on for far too long. And well, that's yeah, that's kind of their thing, isn't it? Sort of, yes. But, yeah, it's run by the Onion. I expect, I expect more from the Onion. Like, well, it's, I think it's an offshoot of it. I mean, it's run by the website. Obviously, it's owned by the same company, but... Uh, but yeah, it's somebody it's said they'd fund Rage Select to become a drug cartel. <laughs> Not cool with that. <sighs> well, you know, if we could sell, uh, like, okay. yeah, I don't really want to become a drug cartel. Not yet. I'd like to have access to drugs, but as far as be a cartel, that just seems like a problem. Not really cool with that either. Yeah. But then again, you know, teach your own. Well, it's not going to be like mandatory. Like, okay. <laughs> all right, John, here's your drugs. We're gonna we're gonna do a video now. Take all the drugs. No, no. Eat them, eat them, eat them, eat them. Why are you guys? <laughs> why are you guys chanting "eat them"? <laughs> you don't eat drugs. <laughs> They're not sustenance. <laughs> That's not even how marijuana <laughs> works. If you just eat it, you don't get high. You have to apply heat to it Wait, to release the I oil that activates that? the THC. Like yeah. if you just okay, kids, yeah, take uh, notes. Yeah, don't take notes. <laughs> <laughs> don't take notes. Okay, no, I do need that back up. They got to be all three up, right? Yeah. 
But I think if I, if I'm just double checking here because I wanted to make sure I was doing that right. I think if uh, if I raise one of them, it'll lower another one. Oh, uh, one of those puzzles. Yeah. Well, you can get over so to that one there. I'm not. Wee. So this game is weird. Yes, it is. Because it's a puzzle game and it's trying to have a story. Uh huh. But I don't think that the story goes with the puzzles. You. It's possible that it's. It might make more sense if we were really tuned into to the it? dialogue. Okay. Um, as it does. I mean, a lot of it is just the fact that that Monkey kind of has no idea why things are the way they are. Um, is that? Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess so. So then where do you go with the blue one? Um, at this point, they're basically just trying to get away from... Oh, uh, so... Okay. Do you have to put the blue one? Oh yeah, I see now. I see now. I have to get over to the blue one to so get over there, can so you can over. raise the red one. Uh, but it, it's it more has to do with. I mean, it, it's kind of a, a it's kind of a buddy uh, like a road comedy or not comedy, but a road story, right? Where the two right. of them are going to be bonding over their shared experiences out on in the wasteland, and then it's also kind of a mystery of where what exactly is. Was well, that it? All three of them down? I no, I. I messed up. Um, it's also a mystery of what exactly happened here, and there are a lot of clues in the okay. environment towards that. Um, I messed up, and I may have screwed myself. Oh, no. No. Because I went back too far. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, I think that I mean, I mean, think that it, it works out. Like I said, the ending is a little weak, and mostly because what John was talking about it being sequel bait, where there never w actually was a sequel. Um, but I think it works out. The, it gets a little tedious after a while so we're gonna run through a lot of these questions okay all right. they're not all yet snow oh wow okay we've got like 15 yeah. minutes left until we're done so i'm gonna try to <laughs> get most of today's now some of you ask questions that i'm just i'm sorry yeah i'm tired of talking about boondocks and how much you don't like them oh so yeah i'm not gonna answer boondocks questions okay I did watch Black Jesus, and I like that quite a bit. Okay. There so we go. Th that'll be your, your My boon Aaron, of the day. Aaron Magruder yeah, <laughs> segment of the day. Okay. Was Willy Wonka a pedophile? Discuss. No. 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 He was just... He was, he was a child-killing megalomaniac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was a child-killing megalomaniac. He was, uh, he was a child at heart. Or in his brain. He wasn't a pedo. There was nothing I thought sexual about yeah. it. Yeah, no, not at all. There. Yeah. But he was certainly putting kids in precarious positions and then gleefully watching them suffer. Hey, sometimes so something a little fucked up about that. If you want to make an omelet, you've got to imperil a few children. That's what the and, how the old saying goes, right? And there wasn't a new remake of this because that Johnny Depp atrocity was just bullshit. Yeah, okay. I didn't like that. I love the other one though. Talking about Mike. I am. Okay. It's that my mouth is just going into the microphone. No, he's not a pedophile. No. Okay, why do Americans say everything like they're French? Example, example. it's herb, not herb. Fillet, not fillet. Um, I think that's... I think you're going to have to present more evidence about the proper, uh, about the proper way to speak English. And <laughs> credentials? Yeah. I'm going to have to see some credentials about <laughs> why you get to be the one who says how you say stuff correctly uh, because those were the ways that literally everyone that I've known in my entire life have said those words. So. Well, it's because it comes from those languages. We're yeah. melting pot language and the French. They, they, also, they won some wars. Also, we as far as like filet, because I'm sure that's what they're getting, uh, our discussion on chick filet, yeah. yeah. it's actually spelled F-I-L-L-A. Or F I L space A. Yeah, so that's why we're calling it Chick Fil A because that's what it's actually, that's how it's spelled. Yes. Um, what's your favorite scene in a horror movie? Ever? For for right now. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. In The Exorcist, when the girls kept crawling down the stairs backwards like a spider. Yeah. So fucking creepy. That is I like creepy. that one. It's pretty creepy. Uh, I like in Nightmare on Elm Street when Johnny Depp goes in the uh, bed and then the geyser of blood comes out up to the ceiling. Oh, my gosh. I like in, uh, what was it, Killbots? What's the other word name? Chopping Mall? 
Oh, Wick. God, Chopping Mall. Yeah, that's actually a thing. <laughs> Um, every death scene in Chopping Mall. Okay. Every death scene in Slugs. Oh, okay. Slugs gives me the EBGBs like crazy. Oh, that part in the stuff when the dude's face starts opening up and the right. stuff is just yeah. coming out of it. Oh, it's uh, so terrible. <laughs> John. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't really can't think of really think of it. It's like it extremely creeps me out. But yeah, what Grant said about the the crab walking. Down the stairs thing okay. that really. At least we got the power cell. They were saying the blood orgy in Event Horizon. Okay, that's um, actually yeah, that's another one. And they were saying the part where Jason kills that guy. <laughs> in, in Friday the Thirteenth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That any any frame in Hellraiser. Hellraiser has a lot of good good scary moments in it. And yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep so gross or the, the the dude and the dude in the bear suit where you're just like what is going on in that room what's that the shining uh, oh yeah grant said the, sh the the shining yeah the shining the wo woman in the bathtub in the shining oh so in um colorado yeah there's a the hotel that that's Boom, gotcha based off of in the shining it's mm -hmm. called the stanley and it's in this mountain pass and it's huge and gorgeous and every time i see it What's in. that? What was that terrible movie that was all about uh, the people making shit up about what The Shining is actually about? Room, room yeah, 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 room, blah, 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 blah. That was one of the worst things I've ever seen in my yeah. life. That was hilariously bad. That's it, the only reason I watched it is because it just it was just like wow, like this movie is nothing but uh, Kubrick telling people that he faked the moon landing. Right. <laughs> it, no, it's great. And here's and it, the here's the proof on why. Here's the scenes and what he did specifically to tell us that he did this. It's 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 wonderful because it shows you just how far the human mind will go to fit your theory into the garbage random things that happen in life so you can go ah you <laughs> see and then it was turned this way and that's a secret code so yeah let's see okay. the worst has part anyone of that. seen the dub japanese monkey tv show from the 80s nope i have not oh. but it sounds right up my alley she's got the cloud doesn't look like a cloud nope 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 the the, the nimbus it's the cloud it's the uh, monkey's cloud yeah because in the in the, in the original, the it's like he rides, rides around, yeah, he rides on, around a, a on a cloud. An cloud. Yeah, he's got a little tech tech cloud thing here. Uh, yeah. Are are Rage Select fans the best fans? Of course they are. Yeah. Are All other getting, fans are number two or lower. We were downstairs during the break, and They're Jeff tied was with like, Geek Bombast fans. giddy. He was like, I get to hang out with some fans this weekend. Yep. He was so excited. It was adorable. I like hanging out with my fans. And let's see, have you ever seen Embarrassing Bodies? Nope. Me either. I watched a trailer on Xbox Live for... Oh. In, in the mirror. <laughs> 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 Excellent. <laughs> Good job. I hate da -da. my body. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for, for they made a, a movie called My Fair Zombie. It's a My Fair Lady with zombies, like low budget... Like B movie thing that's on Xbox Live. I kind of want to watch it. It's apparently a musical, and it's Henry oh Higgins who gets this God. Victorian zombie lady to teach her how to be like a duchess or whatever. <laughs> and like, there's dialogue in there that is directly lifted out of My Fair Lady. Oh my God! Like th at the end, the stinger was he saying the rain in Spain stains mainly on then, and she goes brains. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I kind of want to watch this turd, <laughs> this giant hulking piece of shit. <laughs> What do you guys think of the movie Shame? I haven't seen it. Didn't watch it. Uh, nope. Yeah, I didn't watch that either. Um, what is your favorite mobile suit? Oh, uh, the EZ-8 from the 08th MS Team Gundam. Or maybe New Gundam from uh, Charge Counterattack. Um, mobile suit, Gundam. Remember when we played Gundam? Yeah. Uh, you were totally there. When we yeah, you were totally there. <laughs> um, my favorite Gundam, I don't know what actually my favorite mobile suit from the Gundam series is, but uh, I, I really have a fondness for the really shitty live-action Gundam movie, G-Savior. Oh, ah, okay. Mm. It's shitty. Yeah. And it's American, yep. which is part of the reason why it's so shitty. Yep. But it's awesome. How? No. No, it's the giant robots, the mechs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're called mobile suit Gundams. How um, would you guys handle the chimpocalypse? 
I would become their leader, of course. Your master chimp. See, I've always wanted an army of of monkeys with the um, uh, see through dome pieces on their heads. So you can see their brains as they take over the world. Oh my gosh! I would. I would. So. The, the fact that I haven't died yet with all my near-death encounters yes. right, is impressive. Yes. You guys are all really impressed. <laughs> I'm very impressed. <laughs> I could, could barely contain myself. And so I think I would survive, but very awkwardly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like I'm not... <laughs> the, uh, the awkward apocalypse? Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> like, maybe there'd be... Like, I would... Like trip or something, and the monkey would think it's funny, and then I would have to become like the trip girl or something. Like uh-huh. I'm not sure. Get your own monkey television show. Yeah, where I just eat bananas, and so like I get, <laughs> have to get like sixty bananas and ruin my stomach lining. It's a human eating bananas. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> okay, how do I get up there? There is it. There. What was the question? Survive the how monkey I, apocalypse. How would I survive? Um, oh, maybe I see. like a trip to. A disguise store and, like, dress up as a monkey? Yeah. Okay, because I'm going to call bullshit on... I mean, if the monkeys really rise up, right. they're not going to be controlling them. They're going to sure. be controlling you. No, I can they're identify. I can identify with them. You no, have to look like one of them. I figure you disguise yourself as a monkey. Yeah. And you kind of could. You just kinda I have like, a lot of body hair. I mean, you know. I'm good at throwing my shit at people. There you go. Well, <laughs> so... You know. I think I'll be okay. Yeah. I, I'll probably die a horrible monkey-related <laughs> death. <laughs> I, I acknowledge it. Ah, uh, monkey-related deaths. I wonder how monkeys torture people. That's Fling poo at them? Maybe. Call their eyes out. Was there oh, a, like the monkey babies. There yeah. was a book called Great Apes, I believe, that was a science fiction book about this guy who goes to sleep one day and then wakes up, and all of society is like primate. It's like monkeys... The, the evolution was closer to actual apes than to people, and great apes. It's <laughs> great apes. Uh, apes. Yes, I can't great, say it right. great, <laughs> great. Yeah, okay. Great, great. you do it. Uh, great ape spectations. There you go. There you go. There that you was go. actually even better than you said it the first time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. But yeah, so I used to be obsessed with like weird things. Like mm. used to be. Used to be. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm still am. But there's this thing called it's monkey okay. babies. Okay. And these people get monkeys and dress them up like babies and treat them like babies. But because the monkeys might like tear out their eyes, right? They take off the tips of their fingers. Ah no. And their teeth. Ah, so no. that the monkey babies can't That's like terrible. Attack them. It's insane. These people, and then they just, uh, they just feed it lollipops. These this, oh, the, they take them to the park. These are terrible. This is a terrible thing, and so yeah, those people should be killed first in the monkey apocalypse. So that's a, that's why I think monkeys will do to people. Cut off. They'll their turn them into like babies, <laughs> human babies. <laughs> human. Okay. They're fully grown. Human babies, though. Like, yeah. I get you. I get. You. I, 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 I see what you're. See what you're saying. So let's see. Um. I don't understand the. It says Malkovich. Malkovich. Yep. Malkovich. 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 Okay. Have you Malkovich. ever seen Being John Malkovich, Kayla? Yes. Okay. You remember the part where they were all saying Malkovich? No. That's. Yeah. When they but go into the, Malkovich. When we mind. were downstairs, we were like. Hey, yeah, John and I were talking about what movies to watch, and I was like, did I watch Captain America? And he was like, yes, you were there. He was like, do you remember the guy with the robot arm? I'm like, no. And I thought for a little bit, I'm like, does he talk to this old lady in that movie? Yep. And he's like, yep, that's the part you remember? <laughs> yep. <laughs> all the two hours of Captain America, and that's all you took away was two. Two hours and 20 minutes, actually, from Winter Soldier. <laughs> yeah, talks to Haley Atwell in old uh, old makeup. Yeah, yep. Totally forgot about it, didn't you, Grant? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the least re- memorable part of the movie that had like Robert Redford, <laughs> and robot arm guy, and a dude that d- did other things. It flew in a Falcon suit. Yep. 
a whole bunch see. of stuff. What's your guys' favorite element in the periodic table? I love carbon. Yeah. Grant, what do you got? Carbon's hard to beat. Uh, man. Shit. Barium. Barium? Why? It turns um, fireworks Bar green. Barry, Barry Whiteium? It's a chemical that makes green in fireworks. Okay. All right. Oh, he's actually got some science up in this bitch. There you Ooh. go. <laughs> that was an exertion <laughs> for you. You should see him. He's Grace. clutching his chest. It was hard. I can go with Xenon any circus somewhere. It sounds cool. Oh no, no any circus. Just New York City, or maybe Amera Amera Cium Amera Cium or whatever. The one that's named after America. America. <laughs> they said Barium Von Grant. There you go. <laughs> John, do you have a favorite element of uh, the apocalypse? Probably uh, magnesium. I don't know. Magnesium. Luckily for me, Carbon was the only correct answer according to the chat room. Okay. Thank you. Damn and it. Some people said spiders, lead. Spiders is an element. Gold, protein, peroxide. Yeah. Selenium. This because they like Selena, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, chat room. <laughs> <laughs> the last 10 minutes, so that means it's... Sorry if we didn't get your questions Sunday streaming. We will keep them in the thing. I tried to answer one question from every slot. So oh, if you ask like seven questions, yeah. I answered at least one of your questions. Okay, that's fair. So, But now it is your turn, chat room. It's time for lightning the round. Answers, short yes, no, one, to five, one sentence answers. Great. Is horseradish an element? No. 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 It's delicious, uh, no. though. And we're still waiting. Banana is their favorite element. Okay. Um, let's see. Banana is only an element if it's a bread. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> hilarious. I like to just. I I usually just vamp until you can get like a whole page worth of uh, yeah. worth of stuff. You're like, ooh. What about the spiders? What, what about, about the them? spiders? How big are your nipples? Regular sized. No, they're all right. Pretty sized. I mean, they're it's cold right now, so they're very. Two you know, knuckles. Choked. They're they're perky. Yeah. Yeah, they're uh, a little bit perky at the <laughs> moment. Those are biteable nipples. Yeah. Mm. Uh, mine are about a quarter, I guess, in size. About a quarter um, of the usual size. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> really tiny. Will you uh, play Shadows of the Dam for the next week's stre Sunday streaming? Yeah, uh, maybe. Do Americans still say Freedom Prize? No. So I don't think anyone ever did. I feel like they only say it in mockery now. Right. Like, oh, man, I need some freedom fries with my freedom bread, and I might go uh, visit the country of freedom. <laughs> I only ever said it mockingly ever, I think. Oh, my gosh. Um, does Professor Dog have a nemesis? No. Ooh. Well, maybe whatever the current toy is that's squirrels. not completely destroyed. Squirrels. Yes, okay. Squirrels. <laughs> All squirrels. Professor Mailman. Professor Mailman, Professor Mailman yeah. <laughs> Dr. Mailman. <laughs> have you guys ever seen Phantom of Paradise? Yes. No. Yes, I have. I have. I love it. It's fun. I love it. But it's a crazy, crazy, crazy. It's movie. a musical by the guy who does songs for like the Muppets, and he also plays in it, and it's singing and cool. It's and like it Phantom of the Opera, yeah. but <laughs> but with like cool tunes. Yeah. Okay. Will we see your dad on Rage Select, Jeff? Probably not. He lives in Ohio. No. Favorite rapper? Uh, Dr. Octagon. Oh, shit. Favorite rapper? Um, currently, I, I kind of like uh, the stuff of uh, Childish Gambino. Yeah. yeah. I, I just kind of like his, his wit and his rhymes. Yeah, no, Childish Gambino is pretty good. I would say it's a tie of Ludacris and Charlie Luda? Tuna. <laughs> Charlie Tuna? Yeah, from J um from Jurassic Five. Okay. I do listen to a lot of uh like nerd core hip hop, I guess you could say. Um yeah. and uh, like MC Front a lot. I'm mm -hmm. I kinda like. Uh MC Chris is okay, but um okay, okay. I end up getting tired of MC Chris. Yeah, a lot MC faster. Chris I go through I go through phases. MC Front a lot though tends to put out some some good stuff. Yep. Also MC Lars is also yeah. pretty good. MC Lars is a teddy bear, he's so sweet. Let's see. Jeff, another lady show on Rage Select? This is the lady show. Mm. <laughs> I am. I'm groping a, myself. I am a beautiful. Uh, <laughs> she is. Uh, a, a, a lady, you're talking about lady-centric, lady-specific like Sparkle Fandango. Uh, it would just have to be 
I mean, at this point, this is a Where good is compromise between the two because Kayla doesn't have to be on video every week, which <laughs> she's said to me is a little bit stressful, and I can understand. Um, I don't know. Maybe someday. Uh, just kind of depends on... Um, right now, we've got a pretty good lineup of stuff. So once we get a few things a little bit more hammered down, we might have room to expand more. Do you guys like cocaine? <laughs> was that Bert Cocaine that asked that? Was it um, Dr. Roxo that the, asked that? An angry albino asked that. Okay. Never had it. Never met it. Nope. But I do like screaming cocaine for no reason. It's okay. <laughs> What's the best Elvis movie? Uh, that's a Jason Murphy question. I'm afraid that I can't legally answer that. Honeymoon in Vegas with yeah. Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Brilliant. Do you know who Elvis is, Grant? Nick, Nicholas Cage. He was Elvis at the end. With Bubba okay. Hotep? <laughs> Bubba Hotep's a good one, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah Army yeah, of Darkness, that's my favorite Elvis but movie. Anytime he's super hot, like and on the beach and singing, like all those are good. Yeah. Where am I supposed to go? But that's about go? all the takeaway I ever get from those is, man, Elvis is super hot. So over that other side? There you go. Let's no. see. Will Jeff, will you be legging... Lazy Krogan's hot air balloon. I don't even know what that means. That's if that's not a sexual act. Uh, well, no, just I'm gonna go with no both ways. <laughs> I don't know if it's a metaphor or if it's literal, and either way, um, probably not. Unless hot air balloon is like code for uh, I'm gonna inherit all of the millions of dollars that I own. Then sure. Guardians of the Galaxies or the Avengers? I can't say. I haven't seen. Guardians of the Galaxy for me. But, you know, there are some uh, people who are going to say Avengers is still be a better movie. Guardians right now, but I need to. I need more time. I don't feel like that's a thing that I can say yes or no to right away. Avengers by far. <laughs> I will fight all of you on this. Okay. Avengers is just a better movie. There's, a, and I, and you know what, There's I'm a lot more work they had to go into that. No, here's the thing. I, I'm totally okay with, with people saying Avengers is a better movie because there's a lot of work that had to go into it. There's a lot more uh, of a lot of stuff. What the fuck? Is yeah, the fact they pulled it off and everything. I do think that as a Marvel movie, um, the only... Uh, what the fuck is going on with the video? Uh, I'd be willing to bet that probably the number of people in here is making my video card overheat... And we're getting some vertical tearing. Oh. But fortunately, Ooh. we're almost done, yeah. so I'm going to go um, ahead. I, like I, said, I, I, I don't argue with... Yeah. Anyways, mm. no. It's not great. Video card. I, I, mean, I, I just think that uh, Avengers isn't just itself a movie. It is a culmination of all the years spent grooming all of those characters in all the other films in order to bring them together and then see if all those characters from those other films could work together and balance in, in the whole film. And that's why like, it's just such a feat that I was like, man, it's so impressive they, they were able to pull that yeah. off. I mean, I, I think there's, there's something great about Guardians of the Galaxy that you're bringing an unknown quantity and you can still introduce it, but I think that says more about the Marvel brand that it's such a trustworthy brand than just the movie itself. Yeah. No, I, and I don't argue with that fact. I'm just saying I think Guardians of the Galaxy is a better standalone movie. Like, not a better Marvel movie, but a better movie. Whereas Avengers works as a Marvel movie, I don't think it works as much as a standalone movie without the other movies surrounding it. Was anyone at the premiere of The Nick? No. No. I have no idea what that is. I'm going to watch it tonight. Hellraiser or Hellbound? Hellraiser. Yeah. I haven't seen either. Homeward Bound. Homeward Bound. <laughs> Left 4 Dead or Team Fortress? Team Fortress. Uh, Left 4 Dead. Yeah, Team Fortress. I haven't played any of them. Uh, Pinhead or Freddy or Jason? Pinhead. Uh, Pinhead. Freddy. Freddy. Who am I, says the boogeyman. Only who you choose to be. Only the shadow knows. What was the question? Who am I? Um, I'm Grant, I <laughs> guess. Is Dallas the TV show an accurate representation of Dallas? Never watched it. Absolutely not. No way. Um, I've been out to that ranch. Oh, yeah? Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's... It's closer of a representation to both oil, the oil industry and, like, West Texas. I mean, Dallas itself is a lot more metropolitan. Mm -hmm. But um, oil, oil business is kind of 
fucked up, those people. They are constantly, like, fighting and squabbling amongst each other. They're dealing with a shit ton of money, and it's a bunch of uh, people that aren't used to all of a sudden dealing with a bunch of money. <laughs> and they're kind of shitty to each other. So it is kind of weird like that. My, my brother-in-law got into the oil business for a bit, and oh, yeah? it was like, dude, you're kind of like that show. <laughs> kind of like Dallas. It's weird. He had to get out of it. Best show to represent Texas. Real it's world probably, Austin. It's probably King of the Bye. Hill as much as I hate to say oh, it. Oh, yeah. Well, it depends. Ugh. That was great for West Texas. Yeah. Like, Texas is so regional. Yeah, true. Like, I wouldn't yeah. say that that's a good border show. I'd definitely say Friday Night Lights. Grant, did you ever recover from your groin kick? No, it's just still throbbing. I think something's wrong there. Throbbing? Um. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Okay, it's 6 o'clock. Oh, it's 6 o'clock. We it's have to stop. Right. And I'm probably going to die. All right, John, just keep it up for a few more seconds. Yeah, Folks, uh, head on over to rageslife.com to check out more awesome stuff. You should be there right now. If you're on Twitch, though, maybe give a website a check. Uh, our podcast is going to be going up uh, directly after we're done here. And tomorrow we're going to have another set of brand new videos Ooh. on the dojo. We've got the Academy on Monday. We've got the Super Awesome Video Game Show on Wednesday. We've got something something else on Friday. We've got Indie Friday. We've got all kinds of stuff every day of the week. Check out the website. Uh, and we will see you all next week for another Streaming Sunday. Quit rubbing my shoulders, Grant. It's gross and creepy. They asked me to slap <laughs> you. No. Oh, okay. All right. They're giving you a love tap. All right. All right. We'll see y'all later. Anybody who's mean to my dad has to answer me personally. Bye. Later. <laughs>